podcast. I'm currently eating a cracker. Ooh, where did you buy it from? Dox yourself. Oh, this location. No, 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 no. That's awesome. I love it. I love that location. Would you say top five locations? I would say so. I think it's a pretty, pretty solid location. Like, if I were to sit here and I were to, like, list out some locations, I think that one would be pretty, pretty G-dang high, if I d do say so myself. <clears throat> All right, you guys ought to have, a, have an adventure ahead of you, I tell you what. Oh, my God. They announced a new Pokemon. It's a, his name is Psy Lizard. Psy Lizard? Put a picture in yep. chat. Uh... No, just uh, I don't have a picture. It's just um, it's the trailer. Oh, and did they, they release another Psy trailer? Lizard. It's it's just a, it's a competitive play trailer, and they announced Psy Lizard, a dragon normal type. God, that's bland as fuck. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, the Crack Bro podcast is live. Let's go. New move, Shed Tail. Create a substitute, then swap places with a party Pokemon in waiting. What? That's kind of busted. <clears throat> yeah, it's kind of nutty. Speaking of things that are nutty, dude. Um, you know, you know uh, money bags, Jake? Yes, I'm aware they have more episodes for you, Clark. No, no, no. You know what they did today? announce a new season they uploaded another one dude this isn't the, the, they sent out four episodes from season two eddie and i watched one of them it was amazing it was it was as it turns out really fucking brutal to watch they also changed the show so now you're no longer doing it for your money you're doing it um for charity right. why were too many people winning well i mean well, they odds are they have to give out the same amount of money, but I think it was more that um, a lot of the victors, specifically anyone who won money, would basically grab one bag in the final round and then not answer the next one, so they would just leave with like five grand or something. And, you know, that's oh, so like play for, so if they play for charity, it'll entice them <clears throat> to go farther. Yeah, because it's not like yeah, like it'll entice them to go further, and there isn't like a actual personal loss that comes if you like make a stupid decision oh so they yeah that'd be cool the... that'd be that'd be the official release nice. day is friday november 18th november 18th dang that's when i'm gonna lose my uh my pv card your what my uh pokemon virginity card this is gonna be the first pokemon game i've ever played oh th that i feel like that's not true no, that is true. To... I've never played another Pokemon game. How is that possible? I didn't have a DS growing up, dude. I, I, my first console I ever played was the Wii. There's Pokemon games on the Wii. I mean, yeah, but I didn't play them. I was all about that. I was on that Wii Sports grind. Yeah, and then by the time I, like, actually started playing video games, it was just Smash. True. And I was like, man... I've played like a million addicting games versions of basically Pokemon where you go and you do your turn based move and then you go H -h huzzah I have gained experience points. You know. Yeah. But I figure I might as well give this one a fair shake because um for the same reason I will inevitably watch Evangelion. You need to know what you're making fun of. Why are you going to watch Ava? Don't do it. No, I'm going so I can properly make fun of the fan base. Like, I think I, I do a fair amount of that anyways. Hey, okay, but, if, uh, I ever can, if I can ever get Logan to come back and play Civ, uh, tell him that you watched it and tell him that you hate it. He will get so mad. Good. <laughs> it's, his, it's his favorite show. Good, dude. And we, we always shit on him for it. And then he'll, uh, <clears throat> and then he'll come back at me saying uh, how much I love One Piece or something. Oh, what was it? That was a... 
Let me see if I can find the fucking image. Damn it, I can't find it. So in something Evangelion related, um, a character is like, that was a grown up kiss. We'll do more when you come back alive. And oh. I, the first time I experienced that quote, it was a picture of fucking Walter White next to <laughs> Saul Goodman. It's, that was a grown up kiss. <laughs> we'll do the rest when you come back. Mark, I got a picture for you. Someone, oh, God. Not, someone's artwork I follow on like Twitter and other places. Uh, they made this amazing One Piece picture, but they're all Somali pirates. That's really good. I like that. <laughs> yeah, they're yeah they're Somali pirates. And look what Nami in the like, water is. She's a blow up doll. I'll have to take your word for it. I don't know. I don't know who any of these characters are, Jake. I know the main this guy is main. Um, one, and he's half, his, his soul is half of the one piece. Yeah. What if the one piece is a swimsuit? It's a what? It's like a one piece swimsuit. Oh God. But it's like made of like gold or like God's tears or some shit. See that. That would be a fucking twist. Man, I love 3D Squilton. S'more Moo. Man, I love 3D Squilton. He's Squilton, but in 3D. <laughs> I actually did. I went and I, uh... Did you watch I, all the episodes? I, I did. I watched all of those today. Are they not great, Clark? Mm, like, there, there, there are... I think it's definitely one of those shows for me that it's like there are moments of it that I'm like, man, that was really funny. You know, uh, when will I see my beloved Shrimpina again? Yeah, Excellent. I love how, Good I shit. Love how Jeremy, the... the fucking weird hell guy in hell, just goes... Blah, 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 blah. Hilarious. Your hellish, your hellish form of entertainment. Yeah, that, hilarious. Uh, the rest of it, I'm like... Eh. <laughs> you know, I can take it or leave it. It's, it's like, all right. Was Sword of the Stranger a manga? Um, or was it just know. a movie? I think it was just a movie. I'm yeah, it was it just a movie. Uh, because I was like, that would actually be a book I would buy. Because I really like Sword of the Stranger. I think it's... And this is this is saying something. I believe it's one of the top five movies I've ever watched. It's like, it's so good at like connecting you to characters that you have only known for like an hour and a half. Like it's a short movie too. It's like fucking, I think it's like a little under half an hour. Uh, oh, never mind. It's an hour and 45 minutes. So it's pr still pretty short for modern movie standards, which, ugh. I, need to. I, like the, I like that they put the number 15 guy in the Shrimpina episode. Number 15. Oh my God. Can I Jake, please have a number I hate 15? to tell you this. I hate to tell you. Yeah. you know, no, I don't hate to tell you this. That shit makes no sense. <laughs> what do you mean? I, I don't I don't get the I don't get the funny. <laughs> Kills is a guy that's like he does like top like top 20 lists and then he is just his voice. He goes number 15. What? He's just a YouTuber. 
Oh, he's, he's okay. Point. Okay, there's a reference I wasn't getting. Okay. Gotcha. Actually, I'm going to turn my mic audio down a well, okay. little Clark, bit. Okay, Clark, what was your least favorite episode of Smile? Least Clark? favorite episode. I'm going to have to, like, look at the episode list you, real I'll quick. Even throw in Bra- I'll even throw in Brazil in there. You see, like, the Brazil thing is, uh, it, it's a great, it's a microcosm for my thoughts on the show. Like, the Brazil thing was funny. And I understood the joke, and I understood the joke when it was two minutes in, and I understood the joke when we were five minutes in, and by the time the ten minute mark ran around, I was like, okay, You're I, like, is something I gonna happen? get it. I like, I get it. I get it. It's like nothing happens. That's the whole point. But you know, me and Eddie were just eating it up. What us, my? Friends uh, episode list. Okay. Swarmu has a full name. It's Swarmu James Carter. Nice. <laughs> the Halloween special was. Uh, uh, let's start at the start. Desmond's big day out. Eh, it's fine. Had a couple moments that was all yeah, right. That's pretty. That's that's the pilot. Yeah, Mr. Frog. That was good. I really liked Mr. Frog. Your uncle really gets into big car accidents. Oh, he loves his cars. He loves his cars. <laughs> loves his cars. He loves his drinking. Like, that That was a really good episode. Shrimp's Odyssey. Good. Pretty good. Uh, silly Halloween special. It was all right. Not my favorite. Yo, n- not yo my was favorite. that blackface? Yo, is, are you wearing blackface, dude? <laughs> no, man. I'm a forest demon. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm like an actual forest demon. Kill him. Uh, who violently like murdered video. Simon S. Salty? That was a funny Simon one. Simon S. Salty is a great. That was a good one. one. Enchanted Forest was like, eh, this was I, fine. I really like Enchanted Forest just because um, you obviously guess that Mip is Pim spelled backwards, right? Hmm. That makes sense. Frowning friends, eh. Dude, the Renaissance men are coming to town. Surely, like that's the thing. Like each each episode has like one really good joke, and outside of that, I'm just like, eh. Frown, yeah. Like Charlie dies and doesn't come back. I mean, you had Jeremy, who is the highlight, and then Brazil. I guess if I had to say favorite episode, probably uh, Simon S. Salty or okay. Mr. Frog. Those are both. Those are pretty even. Least favorite. Oh god. Probably the Halloween special. It was I just agree to that. It was just kind of like a horror episode and I didn't really I didn't really I like the, uh, when he I like it when he goes into the cabin has like an imaginary family in the cabin. Mhm. God fuck oh my god Aaron. Mr. Boss dressed up just as up like Charlie Brown. Mhm. Oh, God. Fuck, I was really hungover this morning. <laughs> I still kind of am. <sighs> All right, Sage is sprinting home. Uh, Eddie and Nick are still not here, but that is fine. My own crazy cup. I love crazy cup. Oh, Gilbert Godfrey was God. As a God, that was a. That was like that was like one of his last things. I think he did. Did he die? Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, he died like a couple months ago. Oh dang. I'm pretty sure that's like one of his last big things he did. Hmm. He played. His... Oh my God! Wait, the squatter in the hole in the wall was Finn, uh, Wolfhard from fucking Stranger Things. <laughs> nice. I didn't know that. <laughs> I'm watching a video that just talks about all uh, that just that's showing off all the guest voice actors. Mm-hmm. Man, they really are making a third Splatoon game, aren't they? <laughs> they are. What? Yeah, Splatoon three. Remember, remember the uh, thing we watched. Remember, remember when we watched the uh, Nintendo Direct that revealed the Mario movie. Um. Okay. Isn't it yeah. like when they're in like the Wild West post apocalyptic? Yeah, it looked that's what it looked like. Yeah. I mean look, I love the 
that 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 Nintendo Direct, watching that with you boys, was just so great because we had the classic. We actually watched all together. I don't remember. Yeah, we did. Uh, we did. It was like the morning after we like slept over. Or maybe it was that. Maybe it was like. Oh wait, no, no, no. It was the day before because we came. We went over early. Yeah. And we watched it, and that's when we had like you know the Mario movie. Oh, yeah. We were just yeah. losing our shit over as how we, dumb. as we should too. Yeah. See, like the Mario movie was there. That was awesome. Um. Who else? What else? What else got announced? I don't think like anything else got announced. I think it was um, Bayonetta, maybe. Like I, I remember Bayonetta, there there Bayonetta were a bunch of really yeah there were a bunch of like really big announcements. I'm confused on how it's still my. Uh, it's not the server PFP. It's uh my account PFP. On the on the stream. Hmm. I don't know. Wait, what did you say? No, sorry, I like missed some of that. Oh uh, no, uh, the my profile picture is my account one, not the server one. I'm like, how the fuck does that work? Interesting. Ugh, people underneath me have been having a party all day. Every day's a party. Yeah. They haven't been su they have not been like super loud, and I'm certainly no one to complain. Because I'm usually pretty friggin' loud, especially at night. But um Yeah, they've just been like blasting music all day. But if you blast music, they complain? Well, no, they they have never complained. I this is we we seem to keep a pretty decent balance because right now the balance is, um, I stay up super late and play video games and talk to people on Discord and like yell every once in a while at night, and then their kids um just fucking scream all the time. You know. Yeah, they they definitely the, the, those kids really do love screaming. I gotta say, mm. they really they really haven't found a nice Saturday morning that they Hard couldn't watch. that they couldn't like just scream at. How old are they? I have no idea. They're pretty young. Well, it's just I like was a I, hmm? I was a quiet child. Yeah, I figure I was too. But um, you know, I it was definitely sat, I like sat, I just sat still with my yo yos. <sighs> until everyone shows up. Nice. Hopefully Watch soon. Once. Sage will be uh Sage will probably be the latest. I I I at least hope that Sage will be the latest. What's the gear stripe? I can't wait to see biking hate gear. Cause I really don't want to. I really don't want to have to start calling people live on stream i'll have to do it i've called people on stream before also i i guarantee god damn to you one of these sessions we're gonna have like saba just like pop in and be like hey guys how's it going what are you guys doing what are you guys doing <laughs> i'm just gonna be like saba oh, guest, guest, char guest character guest character look guest characters can start um basically is when we unlock guest character basically once you guys once you guys get to ilum I think that that's like a pretty, a pretty reasonable time to uh, to do that. Want help my domestic training? Yeah, I'm domestic as hell. Oh my God, Aaron! Could it I'm be? Yeah, no, you're not using the funny dolphin character. <laughs> oh, 
please. Also, I'm gonna I'm about to say Hello. something extremely brave. Hello, welcome what? to the Cracker Rail Podcast. That was it. Welcome nice. to the Cracker Rail Podcast. I am gonna say something brave. Is that I want to watch fucking like professional Smash players play with um spirits on. on? Mm, spirits. No, just spirits. That's like I've fun. seen I've seen like oh like this is a joke tournament. You play on like a stupid stage and you play with a. You play with items on, but I, I like want to see like their insane spirit builds. Like that would be fun. I really enjoyed the spirit aspect of Ultimate, which was certainly a not super popular stance, I guess, because a lot of people were just like, "Yeah, no, these are like cool, I guess." But my perfecter, damn, I'm too good at this game. Nice. All right, hop off, King. I'm having like a. Everyone's not here yet. Four out of ten mental health day, so I might be a little uncharacteristically quiet during today's session. Sorry to hear that, my dude. Alone being quiet? That's not allowed. That's, yeah, it's not characteristic at all. Yeah, okay. sorry to hear you feeling feeling uh, okay. crummy, it's not my that guy. Big of a deal. It was just like laundry day, and I didn't get to do anything. Mm, yeah, I feel that. Yeah. Oh shit! I didn't do laundry. <laughs> Fuck. What else is new? That's not good. That's pretty bad. Ugh, whatever. I have enough for tomorrow, do you have at building least. building laundry? I forget. I do. I have been building laundry. I'm just extremely lazy. And I just com I also just completely forgot about it because I was I've like, to do I'm going to give myself a nice, relaxing weekend. Don't even worry about it. And then... Go to I... Ireland next week. Oh, are you going to Ireland? Dang. Screening something. Nice. Are you hanging out Using with Nick Shim? Using my memory loss privilege to rewatch my favorite show every two years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just fucking. All right, time to call Nick. Yeah. One moment. I was, too, I was trying too hard to get an all, uh, a release out. Yeah, well, hopefully we can get a hold of Nick. No, he's gonna hit me with the wheelchair. Oh my god, I'm not dead. Oh, I got him! Nice. That, I, I thought I was dead. That guy got slashed. I like when people post on a date kind of nervous with their partner, but I think it would be really funny if you did that with someone you were actually on a first date with, because that would immediately make them leave. Yeah. <laughs> on a date kind of nervous. The fuck did you say? Yeah, what did you just... Why did you just take a picture of me? All right, well, I'm like, so he's I'm, on his fucking way. I'm All very right. self-conscious about myself. Why <sighs> take a photo of me? Ugh. <sighs>
Hello, welcome to the Crack Rail Podcast. No! Oh, I gotta get all my shit pulled up. I gotta get my character sheet, thank you for... Yeah, me. please get your... Please, I, everyone, I get your it. get your shit ready. I played against someone in Magic earlier today whose username was Cigarettes After Shrek. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but that was pretty funny. Um, Sage is on their way. Unfortunately, their boss was being a uh, dickhead, so they couldn't leave work on time. Yo, Jake. Yeah. Is there a way to fill in the bubbles in the form fillable sheet? What bubbles? Uh, oh, 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 the, oh, the, oh, the little, oh, like the little dots. Uh, yeah. ooh, ooh. You click them. Really. It's, can you? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, that's what they are. They're the form fillable dot. You click the dot. It goes boop. I'm clicking the dot. I don't go boop. Here. Where's literally, this, weren't, okay. they fill, weren't they already filled in? Literally, like, literally pulling up your shit. Oh, just like, oh, put a period. Click on them and then put a period in it. Or a... <laughs> or oh. something, I don't know. I yeah, I guess I guess these ones don't ones click. That's fine. Yeah, it's yeah, none of the D and D D and D Beyond really crap in the G dang bed. I tell you what. So Jake, when we figured out my spells, I don't think I wrote them down. <laughs> Do you have that? Nope, I don't have the sheet anymore. D and D Beyond. How many? How many? How many? D &D. How many sheets is this for you, Nick? Um. <laughs> what, uh, I mean, this is my final sheet. It was supposed to be, but I didn't realize these are all here. But um. Hold on, I can figure it out. Um, Nick, I just yeah, I don't know. D and D be on your way Wait, to the holes. Um, yeah, I didn't know how magic works really um, with the slots. Wait, so oh, we already explained. Jake... Yeah, we were. Yeah, we talked about that. Yeah, but just, I was like, wrong. And I don't. I don't know if I. Um, I don't know what I was doing. Let me pull up. All right. Do you know how to do it properly now? No. <laughs> Okay. I don't. So we Nick, about I don't this. if you want to cast, remember. if you want to cast a second level spell, you need a second level spell slot, and you need the spell prepared. Spell slots are bullets. You need to have a mage right. bullet of that size to go and be able to cast that spell. Okay. So what I mean really is, so I have four level one spell slots. Yeah. Does that mean I can have four? No, one no, no, <laughs> no, it does not. No, and that means you okay. can cast a level one spell four times. Yeah, the, a there's a, th yeah, there's a thing that says s number of spells known as a part of your class. And that, the question that that answers is whether it is known. <laughs> yes. Wait, let me go to, okay, so if I go to Druid. Nick, it'll tell you how many spells you have, and then I think we, no, we, we said you can cast four, three, and three. You can cast four level one spots. Uh, four level ones, three level three, oh, three level two, three and three level three. three. Yeah. Those were your spell slots. How do I remember that? I'm still fucking playing guilty here, and I didn't remember that. Wait, it was four, three, and three? Yeah. It's, yeah, because yeah, you were like, it should be like eight. I'm like, yeah, I don't fucking. Oh know. well, yeah, no, because I looked in the book and it told me it should. Yeah. Be so Nick, with the thing with Druid, and correct me if I am wrong, but I'm pretty sure you have access to the entire Druid spell list, but there are only so many spells that you can have prepared at a time. Yeah. Oh, is everyone, oh shit, everyone's, okay, yeah. Everyone's so here. just choose whatever things you are to prepare. Sage, hello. Welcome yeah. to the Cracker Barrel Podcast. Yeah, but as long oh, as that's oh, correct, I can yeah. have four I'm trying ones. to hop on, oh. on, a, on, my, on my laptop, but my internet is now fucking up. Literally everything that could be going wrong is going wrong. Fuck, fuck my work. Fuck this yeah, fucking so apartment good. elevator. <laughs> fuck the fact that I had to run up ten flights of stairs. Fuck the fact that my internet isn't working. Thanks. Damn. Happy fucking Sunday. Anyways. Oh yeah. Take take your take whatever time you need to get yourself situated. Speak with the animals. Oh yeah, Eddie. We were talking. I was talking to Clark. Uh, he says the Halloween special is his least favorite Silent Friends episode. That seems reasonable. Yeah, so that's what Jake said. He, he said Salty's or Mr. Frog is his favorite though. 
What is this? What are we talking about? Yeah, it's from a TV show. I'm Mr. Frog. It's pretty funny. Why yeah, is it pass good. without trace on here? It is. Pass without based. Pass it right. It's just not alphabetized. It now, is not. Be no, wait. If you wanted to pass without trace? Wouldn't you be based if you wanted to pass without trace? Based, that based would be on true, what? Yeah. I don't facts. fucking know. Facts and fiction. Facts and <laughs> fiction. I like facts. Uh, let's pass without trace on beast. <laughs> are you repicking your spells or are you just picking. No, so all the spells um, for my class are on the sheet, so um, instead yeah. of filling in the prepared, which I'm supposed to do, I'm just getting rid of the bubble. Oh. Yeah, just do oh. take note of which ones you have prepared. We're not going to oh, do... Right, P. Yeah, we're not going to do any of the, oh, I actually did prepare oh. this spell. I totally knew I would need it today. You know, Our just like know what you... None of that. <laughs> yeah, just like know what you have. I, I, no. trust, you, I trust your no. judgment. All right. <sighs> Are we ready to begin? Um, hold on. Just let me finish this fast. Oh, ah, Wither and Blood is not on here, though. Yeah, you know three cantrips and six spells, Nick, and it would be, you know, you can pass a level, spell, a level one spell four times, level two, level three times, and then the level three spell four times. Three times. No, I got oh. it. I'm just finding them on the list. Alright, you can mm. go, Clark. You said level two, level three times. I know. Alright, Sage, are you ready? My words. Are we ready? Alright. Um, <clears throat> No. Hello and intro? welcome in. We'll play the intro. <laughs> yeah, play the intro. We need to keep oh, our runtime up. Yeah, we've been we've been talking about with hot topics. <clears throat> Regardless, welcome in once again. Your party's been tasked with carrying a mysterious package into the one of the largest cities in all of Exonda, Ilum. Uh, your travels from Dry Gully to Ilum have been fraught with danger, from the blistering winds across the scorching deserts to a nearly deadly Behir encounter. Your journey has taken you westward into the bogs, where you have run into some amorphous mud creatures which stumbled onto your camp. Your flight away from the shuffling masses has left most of your party exhausted. The sun has risen as your cart reaches the crossroads. A wooden sign stands before you, sticking up out of the mud. There are four arrows pointing in each direction of this crossroad. The direction you were traveling is denoted as Marnmouth, west, while the direction you came from shows Fenland, east. The left path shows Snowlock, south, and the right shows Ilum, north. You guys are right about here. Sonich. By the way, can you guys hear me alright? Yeah, you're fine. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. I obviously point the sign. Well, obviously, we go. Look! Home. Dry goalie, we should not go there. Oh, Nick, I also think you're still streaming, just a heads up. I agree. We should avoid dry gully. Well, what's it well, done? We just came. We just came from dry gully. Why would we avoid it? Oh yeah, you're right. Never mind. Um, shit. Where are we going? Ilum. I pointed a sign pointing north. 
know. Let's let's continue on. All right. So you are all currently exhausted right now, with the exception of Bones and, for some reason, Tundo. Seems to be kind of a man without exhaustion. Do we, like, make a camp here at the crossroads? What was that? I said, should we make camp at the crossroads just so we can not be exhausted and just take, like, a day well, of we're rest? we're in the city, right? Or no, or, just no we're just we're just at a we're just at a crossroads. We're at a four way intersection. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. I don't know. I there don't are three the highway, paths highway. ahead of us. Should we yes. continue? So north to Ilum, right? Yes. And what is forward? West? Yes. To where where does this go? To west. Marn mouth. Marn mouth <laughs> is and south. Yes, to oh. Snowlock. Hmm. So we need to go to the city, but those other places sound interesting. Let's Possibly do our job. Plant. Let's do our job first, to be honest. All right. The world is our oyster. After we drop this off, for take. so we get paid. And personally, go Jeremiah and Sarah. A bit what? of money. So, let's get paid. All right, we're getting paid. Yeah, we're getting paid, paid for this, so might as well because they're they're gonna be expecting us sooner or later. So, I would say go north. That's what I have to say. I might be able to purchase some plant gathering materials. Or like a yeah. botanist kit, like a botanist kit. Are you a oh, just some uh, some of the uh, various doodads for collecting some of the um, more precious gamer dudes and doodads. <laughs> <laughs> Can I help you, Bones? Gamers. Oh, Bones. Anybody want to sit Bones. down and play a game of Kingdoms of Exanda? And uh, on other things, Bones, where do you think we should go? I think we should go Bones. to. Ilum. Well, Can obviously. We yeah, yeah. I'm saying that we should. Yeah. Most of us are exhausted. I don't think we should go any farther until we take rest. Oh, there are some nice accommodations within Ilum, my old haunt. We're still several days out from Ilum, like several days. Maybe um, we should rest then. Clark, what time is it? Uh, the sun has just risen. It's just risen. Yeah, you you have traveled throughout the night to try and get away from the um things you encountered. All right. If you want to keep going, um, it's just that I'm, I didn't, I literally didn't get any sleep last night. I saw maybe I got maybe four hours at most. If we stop Sleeping. now, you'll fuck up your sleep schedule. Who does that? It's been fucked up, dog. <laughs> been done. All right. So you would like but to head I'm north then? Just continue, yes, yes, or yes. would you like to make camp? I'm not making the decisions here. I'll do either. I mean, we have like all of us, like more than half of us are exhausted. Three of uh, three of us of uh, the five are exhausted. And okay, okay, let's take a nap. Let's take a nap because none of us can make a decision. We could take a nap and then we get on the road. Let's do that. Yes. <laughs> Him guy will. Uh, he, play, he just stands on the ground. He hops out of the cart. And is now sleeping on the ground. Don't, don't you want okay. your sleeping bag, him guy? No. But guys, wait. I feel like highwaymen could be a problem. We should go out like a little bit into the desert and then use um my um my my special power to hide ourselves. I will that say is... the map is a little oh. deceiving. You aren't really in the desert right now. You're sort of in like a bit of a muddy sort of bog-like situation. Oh, uh, sure. as you have been Nick. traveling further west. Oh, Nick, we uh, we figured out that uh, that that, I, that I thing. Know, I know. It yeah. only hides campfires. That's all it does. Yes. Well, but if we went out into the dark, nobody would be able to see it. It's daylight, though. It is morning. Did you say yeah, you're in you an got, area yeah, where yeah, you yeah, can yeah, or right. cannot? We're gonna spend the next right. two hours what do you want discussing. To do? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna spend two hours here. This crossroads is getting nothing done. I want to take a rest though because I'm exhausted. 
I won't be able to be as productive as I could be if I have if I'm tired. Personally, that's what I think. I don't remember how much HP I had. I think I had like thirty nine. Yeah, you're kind of beat up. You should be at full health. You took a rest after you fought the thing. Oh, true. Oh, yeah, never mind. Okay. Just yeah, just try and keep track of that when you take your rest uh, to your health. Okay, so you pull off to go and take a rest. Um, who yep. is going to be doing watch? I assume Bones? Yeah, I'll do watch. Okay, Tunda will be there with you. Um, so make me a perception check with advantage, please. Okay. Uh, it's a natural one. Oh. <laughs> with advantage? <laughs> oh, with advantage. Yeah, because um, Tundo is helping you. Natural one. Uh, it's natural one. It's an 11. 11? Okay. Um, you're trying to focus in, and it's um, a little difficult. You, despite getting your full rest, are a little on edge, having that strange encounter last night. Um, I see why. After about two hours... After everyone is settled in, you start to see, and Tundo goes and he points out, and he's, ah, oh, fucking, look, look. You start to see, again, these figures out in the distance, and they're moving towards you. They're not acting in the way they did before, where they were sort of, like, creeping around your camp. They're just sort of making a beeline towards you. Um, it, it, given your role... That's really all you can determine, is that there are about three figures approaching you slowly but carefully. Interesting. Hmm. Kind of weird. Mine's going to sleep. I sleep soundly. Is there anything you'd like to do? They are approaching. They will be upon you soon. I guess I alert everybody. All right. I just well, there's a it. nothing good. <clears throat> Let's say that nothing good. Wait. I like Clark nothing environment. Good DM environment check. What are what's the plant life plant life like in the area? It's a swamp. Most of the plants are underneath the ground, sort of like roots. The um, are there any trees? Um, there are any trees. Actually, make me a nature check. All right. Oh, my dice roller. Uh, okay, there we go. <laughs> I think your nature. I'm pretty sure nature is a ridiculous stat. Um, check your sheet. Nature. Nature is plus. No, only plus four. But oh, that's a that's a mod twenty. Mod of 20. Okay. Um, there isn't a whole lot of plant life around you. You don't really see many trees, but um, creeping out of the ground sort of all around you are these um, sort of viney plants, which seem to sort of like protrude out of the ground and then go back beneath. You, with that role, know that these are called bursting clusters. They are a root-based plant which live off of the underground water table and sunlight from the exposed vines. Um, these aren't something that people normally eat, but some swear by the earthy beer which is made from the dry roots. Okay, so we got some plant. Um, I would like to cast Speak with Plants to get an idea of what we're dealing with here. Mm, good idea. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, you cast Speak with Plants, what would you like to say? Hey, brothers, what are we looking at here? We got three figures. Yeah, three figures. That's what we got. Y yes, and should we book it? Um, we book. Should we book it again? They are they carrying weapons? What a. Uh, what can you tell, plants? Please tell me. We know not what they carry, but their connection with us, with the bog, is. Strong. It is. It is arcane. Is that a bad? Is that a dangerous, pot potentially dangerous thing, uh, friends? 
we know not of the danger towards you. Though their connection with this area is strong. All right, so thank you. Thank you, friends. Please continue being. Um, uh, friends, doesn't look like you know who they are, but they're the bog people. At this point, mm. at this are point, they are upon you now. Oh, shit. Um, Hail Bogman. Hail Bogman. <laughs> Their forms now. Now that you get they get closer, their forms don't seem as amorphous as they did in the dark. But it's still difficult to make out any distinct features beyond the lightly glowing eyes. In a flash, these three figures doff their muddy exteriors to reveal their human forms. They raise their oh. hands into the air and smile at you with bloodshot eyes and gray teeth. They are dressed Hell. in ragged clothes beneath some scraps of armor. Greetings, bug folk. Does Hail anyone bog. here speak primordial? No. No. Oh. Damn it. I don't think so. I uh, oh, yeah. I always I oh, always well, take I primordial for lore reasons or headcanon. Uh, I don't believe you would. No. Uh, no, I don't. I don't believe any of you speak primordial. They start to speak. Oh, okay. They they try to speak to you in this growling language. This. No. And seeing, see, <laughs> seeing your lack of understanding, they start to speak in another tongue, which some of you might actually know. Um, anyone who has an intelligence score above 12, yeah. Um, yeah. you can understand this. Um, they are speaking to you now in, an almost, in a very barely able to understand common. Oh, God. They come and they speak to you we live here you pass through our lands without proper payment you let us take your cart or things will become worse out in the distance you can see that there is a lone archer with their bow drawn overseeing your interaction Who's, we can't... who's close to the mic? That's Eddie. Oh, sorry, it's me. We can't really give up the cart. Is there anything else you're willing to trade, potentially, for passage? What do you have? Oh, God, guys, what do we have? Good question. What do we have? I have not only the most rare plant, but one of the most powerful medicines. For stomach ache and constipation, I present to you the Bimblewood Iron Stem. The, the Bimbo most, what? The Bimblewood Bimble Iron Stem. What? The the last name in relieving all those symptoms of all those bog things you have to eat on a daily basis. Is this something you actually have, or is this a deception? Um. Well, do I? <laughs> to can I out. have it? <laughs> what can you have? To, it would. Then this is a deception check, then. <laughs> this is, this deception. is a deception check. <laughs> Nick, what's your deception? I don't know. Oh, oh no. Deception. 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 It's plus one. It's, it's, uh... It's you want me to, I was, I was gonna say... I, I can I, give them... I can anybody want to jump things. in on my con? I'll, uh... I'm gonna, I'm gonna give Nick guidance. I'm gonna, like, touch his back as he's, like, talking to these people. I'm gonna give him guidance. Touch my fucking back. <laughs> Too bad. I'm t I have to touch you for this to work. So when you roll oh, deception, you can true. add a D, add a D4. A 1D4. Alright. Sweet. That works. Alright. Rolling deception. That works. Nineteen. Nineteen. Is that with, is, wait, is that with the guidance or no? It's with the guidance, yeah. Okay. So you reach down into your component pouch and just choose out some random piece of, uh, uh some sturdy, sturdy toe. looking, looking plant. Yeah, you you pull out some sort of root, a sturdy looking plant. They take it and they look at it, and they just sort of look over and say, "Hmm." They go and they sniff it and they taste it a little. Seem to be a bit displeased with the bitterness of it, but. This is this this is good. More. Hey man, it's medicine. I will give you some more. Also, but you can't understand them, Nick. 
Oh, shit. I okay. can now. He, he, he said, said he wants... They say they want more. Yeah, you go go for it, sir. Go, yeah, you go. Uh, well, how uh, long? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. I can hear it. I'll dig through my backpack. I... Th I think I have one bottle left of the of those nice booze. <laughs> I think I, I took some, didn't I? I feel like I took one, two. I oh think no, you took no, I took. You had to have taken I at least one. I'm pretty sure you did. I I took one, and I have healing potions that I used on Nick. I think that's what I thought. Okay, I think so. We'll we'll hand them. Uh, I'll grab like you want me to give him one of your bottles. I'll talk to him. And oh then... yeah, the last one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll be yeah. like. Here, take this. It's one of the finest liquors I've ever had in my life. Drink to your heart's content. Make me persuasion Wait, check, please. It is strong. Uh, yeah, I have a, I have a plus oh, nine. In, I, have a pl what? I have a plus 12. You have so. a plus 12 in persuasion? Dude, yeah, it's my fucking job. Alright, so, <laughs> um, uh, can I give her advantage then? Or, or um, give me advantage? Yeah, I would say on. since you did most of the talking, you would get advantage, Sarah. Okay, that's still a plus nine, so that's still good. Oh fuck! All right, I gotta redo some of these in one second. Uh, Roll your dice. Add nine. Okay. <laughs> yep. Oh, uh, that is a twenty-four. 24. Okay, you hand them the bottle. Similarly, they uncork it. They sniff it a little bit, take a little taste. Um, they seem to be a little disple displeased with the sweetness of this drink. They just look and they say, mmm, good. More. More of. Bones, do you have anything to uh, give? Hey, no, what about this guy? What about this guy? Hey, yeah. you, you. Oh, yeah, Tundo. Where's Tundo? Where, where's Tondo? Oh, no. Hey, what? Oh, don't I what? The, the little treasure that I picked. I forget what it was. I didn't put it in my thing. I got like. Do you remember that? I'm trying to remember. I got like a. Where? Small figurine or something. What? Oh, I should have written it down. You I certainly should it. have. Okay. Um, I can offer them two of the spears. Very fine for hunting. Yeah, I would go for it. If that's up to you, man. Yeah, I'm gonna offer them that. Seems Two good. sturdy spears. Okay. Um, no real roll for this the one. There. These are known to be the sturdiest. Yeah, no, no real roll for this one. They recognize a spear when they see it. They go. They sort of feel them off to say, "Hmm, good, good, good." Um, more, more. I think we're being robbed. Like we are being robbed. Um, we're trading. We we're trading, trading. To under duress. <laughs> I mean, this under is more like time. extortion. <laughs> yeah. I have some. Uh, I have some daggers. Give them the weapons. Yeah, are you watch. going to give them the daggers? <laughs> give them. I have two daggers on me. Uh, I'll give them one. Okay, you I'll give them one seat. dagger. They go, they look at it, they smile. They seem to, they went and they uh, they keep handing all of these different things to the same one guy whose arms are getting full <laughs> at this point. They go yeah. and they look, they look over to the guy whose arms is full and they just say, <sighs> speaking in primordial, they slap him and then point to the cart. The middle guy oh. who is carrying all the things walks over and puts all of these on the cart, um, scaring Tundo, who is now scuttled to the front of it. Um, uh, and another one of them with the daggers moving towards the front of the cart. Um, uh, we didn't say you could have the cart, though. No, we didn't say no, no cart. no cart. No cart, no cart. No, 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 no. You give the trade for beast. No. For beast. You have beast. He goes and he grabs one of the straps that is attaching no, Harold to the thing. and I slap his hand. I slap, I slap his hand. No, 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 no beast. No beast. No beast. No beast. Yes. No beast. No. You keep beast. No, no, no. What? You don't get nothing. No cart. No, no cart. No cart. No cart or beast. No cart. No, beast. no cart or beast. Mm. No cart. We need cart. 
we need he, the he, he sits there for a moment and he goes and he converses with his um two with his two compatriots. The beast. <laughs> Evan or they, uh, one of one of them, the one who went and sort of put everything on the cart, starts to uh, murmur back and forth to them, keeps pointing at the cart, specifically at the crate. They go and they turn. And they just say, "I get up. I crate. get up with this guy. We, I get, no, I get you, up. No, you keep, no, you no, keep every. No, we up, take no, shut up, crate. Shut up, and no, they go. Shut up. No, no. <laughs> get away from the crate. Him guy is tired. Him guy has not slept well." Him guy is angry. No, get the fuck away from the cart. No. Um. Mm, no, you give us crate, and he puts his fingers no. in the shape of a T. You no, give no, us like, crate, and he no. keeps going, and he's putting his fingers into no. the shape of a T. Little delivery. No hable espanol. No hable. Are you? Is this your delivery? Crate has old mark. Old mark oh, of victory. Us. Give crate. And he keeps no, putting old, his hands together to form a T. Old, I, I like put my hand in like a T and like T to Illum and I point to the sign that says Illum. T mm. Illum. Come with no. us. If you want the crate, come tea, with us to Illum. T gone. T gone. We take crate. No. Crate, crate go Illum. Crate Illum. No. <laughs> I can't. I'm, I'm just kind of hanging out. I'm gonna find yeah, everybody. Out. Yeah. Bones. Are there any bugs who are use, not uh, involved in the conversation? There um, there's one of them. There is yeah, one of them who. Uh, so there's the one who you've been mainly talking to. There is one who has okay. now gone and collected all of the things that you had g given them. He's holding those again. And then there's one other one who's just sort of like, he's like on his tippy toes, like trying to look at the crate. And then there's the one the that's one pr probably about a hundred feet away with a bow. Okay. That's why um, effective range. <laughs> hey, I I'm gonna walk over to Bones real quick, and I'm gonna tell him, hey, can you can you just get in? Can you like the scare seat? them away? You like scare no, 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 them just away. get in the drive. No, 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 just get in the driver's seat. We're gonna go. Okay, I'm gonna wait a minute. Up how Harold, close? I'm gonna say, how close together are these um the bogmen near the cart? Um, they're like within probably five feet of it. Okay, I whisper, can somebody take care of the archer? I can I can entangle them with the vines and we can just get out of here. Can you entangle can you entangle multiple people? I think so. If they're close to each it other. Would, it, Maybe would, it would it would it would say so. I think tang entangle is a singular hey, spell. What? Hey What do we get crate? Crate. No crate. Hey, hey, what's that up hey, hey, what's that over there? Is that hold on, what's that over there? Can you and I'm pointing into the distance and trying to see <laughs> they'll, they'll look in my general direction. Okay, make a persuasion Hold check. Hold on. Hold on. Or sorry, yeah. make a deception check. Deception? Mm hmm. No, I we can hit more than one people. Natural 20. Person, Natural 20. Um, living, in the, living in the bogs, um, these people have, are known to sort of be on their toes, so when they hear you cry out, look, look over there, they immediately go and they all turn. Okay, let's run. Okay, run. I'm gonna, I, I, no, I cast I'm and tangle arrow, on... I'm shooting an arrow at the arrow person. Oh god. Well, well, okay, so them. that is a crossbow. Yes. yes, I can use a crossbow. Is it a light crossbow or a heavy crossbow? I can't remember. It's a heavy crossbow. Heavy crossbow, okay. So it's just at your max range. So make it an attack roll. Well, uh, shit. What was the for? Uh, it's D six, right? What damage? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm well, make an attack sure roll. A oh, a heavy yeah, crossbow yeah, yeah, yeah. is a, a heavy crossbow is a D eight, I think. Is it a D eight? Okay. Well, anyways, I got a sixteen. I had a D eight. Sixteen. Just hits. Go ahead. Roll some damage. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, heavy crossbows a D10 actually. Sorry, I just looked it up. D10. Yeah. Just heavy once. Crossbows are crazy. D10 plus anything. Bucks your was it Dex mod? No, it is just D10. It's, you don't get you don't get oh, anything D10? for a crossbow because you're not like drawing okay, it back. Seven. seven. Seven damage. Okay. You go and you fire a crossbow bolt 
instantly, once the bog men hear this sound, they go and they hit the dirt. And you watch as their bodies slowly just sink. Start to sink down go, into go, the mud. Go. Did you want to go, cast go. Entangle, Asf? I mean, are they stuck or are they just... They are slowly sinking mm. down into the mud. It seems that they're not do. It's not like a, oh, the like. It, it seems that it's an intentional thing that's happening here. Well, I don't like how they might potentially be in the earth that we are trying to traverse. So yeah, I'll do. T yes, I'll, I'll do hold them. Yeah. All right. Do, can, do, can I have it with Sarah? advantage? Because I have intimate knowledge of the of the vines. Mm, you. It's literally not even an or attack. Or that they're gonna dip. Or that it's not even an attack roll. It's, um, a, they have to, I think this strength it's a strength saving 14. throw. Yes, yeah, 14. A oh, 14? Okay. Yep. Um, As all this is happening, I'm like grabbing on my shit. Like I'm just, I like I'm just jumping in the cart. All of our shit. Everyone's grabbing the cart. So it's fail. Yep. Wait, what's happening to this stuff? As fail, they success, their, they have all their stuff? and yeah. fail. So two of them you can feel get grasped into your vines. And, um, oh, wait, no, I think it's, yeah, a creature in the area. I think, but it's a 20-foot square, so... It's yeah, it does creature, say but... a creature. Usually they would say any. We'll say, with your intimate knowledge of it, you can get, you can grasp the two of them. Sweet. So that's fine. So you go... But for the future, it's only one. Yeah, for the future, it's only one. Um, you go, it grafts onto the two of them, who are now just sort of stuck where they are in the mud... Um, one of them, who was carrying all of the stuff, funny enough, has sunk down into the um, into the mud and is completely vanished. All right, let's get the fuck oh. out of here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right. You saddle up oh. again. Everybody sort of straps in. Tundo has braced himself against the crate and the cart to keep himself low and to the, uh, as close onto the surface as he possibly can. And you start to ship off. Um, as you do, um, you feel a heavy impact onto the back of your cart. Looking, da looking down at it, an arrow has been deeply lodged into the wood, about halfway to the shaft. How far? Oh. How, far how, how, how far away? You guys are like 200 feet right now. From the person? Yes, because you heard the thing, you kept going, and then you looked. Like okay. you, 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 they were probably a little over a hundred feet, hundred and fifty feet when they okay. first fired it. But you have, you have since left their combat range. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, very nice. Yeah, so uh, we just got held up. We need to get the fuck out of here as quickly as Let's possible. Let's go. Let's go. They're gonna keep chasing us. I feel like. Yeah, let's just get to Ill. It's safe there. <laughs> Hopefully. We have to cross the fucking ground bridge. Can, can you tell the crab to go any faster? I know he's tired, but can we go any faster? Yeah, he's going pretty slow. He's probably going around half speed right now. Or a, li a little over half speed, but... I have to encourage my crab. Yeah, go, uh, mash A for me, i.e. give me an animal handling check. Okay. <laughs> mash A. Uh, Keep spurring your horse and it's gonna fucking buck on you. Mash A to encourage your snail. Uh, 17. 17? Okay. Um, with a little bit of chiding and some bribing with more of the behir meat, um, Harold goes and he picks up the pace a little bit, but he's still moving pretty slow compared to how he normally goes. You have... Did anybody increase his... Does anybody have a spell? Oh my god. Uh, I, I, have, cast... I have a four I... of... Like, okay. Hasten Crab. <laughs> you know what? Hasten yeah. Crab. Clark. Uh, Clark, I'm gonna get a piece of licorice out, and I'm gonna cast haste on Harold. Okay. Um, let me just rotate your crab icon here. Where's and uh, where is haste? There it is. It's a third level spell. Uh, oh, was it? Sorry, doubles? I need to. How how long does it last? It lasts up. Oh, it only lasts for a minute, but it doubles his bo It pretty much doubles his movement speed. So you have cast haste on him. Um, Harold immediately starts to move forward even faster. He goes and he's really he's really booking it down the road. 
for one minute's time. Um, oh, is OBS fucking up again? Oh, no, it's correct. Okay. Um, so he goes and he basically just completely goes. He goes very, very fast for about a minute. And then after that, he like shudders to a halt. As his, as the spell has worn off, he now looks even more tired than he, when he had started. Uh, I know aura vitality heals. That doesn't. Right. That's not. That's not a. That's not a healing thing. It's a. It's a exhaustion thing. He's exhausted. Oh shit! You guys are all exhausted. You, those things should have been at disadvantage. Whatever. I'm not but exhausted. You're not, but everyone else is. Um, oh fuck! Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, I'm my exhausted. bad. Okay. Yeah. So remember, you guys are all exhausted until you rest. I forgot that too. That one's on me. Um, Ability checks are on disadvantage. Let's just say. Yeah. It, let's just say because we were in a heightened state that we were awake for it. <laughs> you can get an no. We'll say that I forgot it, so it's okay. Um. Okay. So. If it rolls, it's rolled. Yeah. I think. I yeah. think we have to fight him if we have to here. No. Let's just. We can't move. Harold is exhausted. He can't move. They can move under the ground. Harold alone. What? We're on a cart. Um, during this discussion, Harold has started back up again, but he's moving pretty slow. Harold, buddy, you can take a rest. I think we love we, you, Harold. I think... Harold. This is what he gets for being a coward, actually. My character does not like him. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Where the fuck is Tundo? Where is he? He is. Since, since, since you've made some distance, since you've made some distance from your um, highwaymen, as they were called, he has uh, since sort of sat himself back up in the cart. You asshole! What? You always really. kind of disappear when it gets a little scary out here, huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm not asshole. a I'm not a fucking fighter. All right, that's uh, that's that's your fucking job. Last I checked, I'm fucking fuck paying you, you to keep me safe and bring me up to the fucking garden district. Do you get to the garden district very often? We should kick you out of this fucking cart right now. The way things are going, it might be a better choice for me too. Hmm. Well, I don't see you doing anything to put me fucking. Yeah. Well, I brought you fucking breakfast, and I keep fucking spotting these guys because you 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 fall asleep during your watch. I have nothing to say to this man. It does. It seems he also has nothing to say to you. As the cart just moves, I'm I'm just so. I'm just gonna watch the back of the cart. I'm just gonna watch and see if I need to see anything. Okay, uh, make me a perception check. And how long do you guys want to travel for? Till the end of the year. Oh my, dude, Ilum is far. Uh, That's give me a give me a survival good. check, Sage. Survival. <laughs> Ilum is far. Oh, Ilum uh, is extremely far. You guys, I don't think you guys get that. Fourteen. Yeah. Fourteen. Okay, you you would estimate that you're approximately like three to four days from the Continental Bridge. Uh, oh shit! We need to find a safe a safe place to uh, to camp. And I does, can, does anybody that... know? Okay, okay, wait. Let's think. Let's think. Let's think. Let's think. These these people. They're T people. Whatever the fuck this. Is. Okay, they're 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 a part of this organization. They're what organization? we have some just... relic. Shut the fuck up. They're part of the Unitary, and they and this is a symbol of of a win for them. So what? How does anybody know anything about the Unitary? I know a little. I know a little. What's my history. Do we know? <gasps> Make me some g dang history checks. Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, Can we find checks. out if there's any safe, yeah. like safe Plus place four. away from them? Uh, out here? That's a 19, a modded 19. 19. Modified 20. Modded 20. Alright, is anyone else rolling for it, or just the two of yous? No, just... Okay, I so... I would know. You would maybe know. Um, so you would, you both know that, um, the Unitary was built upon expansion. And one of their most lengthy and unsuccessful expansions was into the bogs. 
the bogs for centuries due to a group of human warriors and uh, basically like a couple hundred thousand humans remain were living in the bogs for over a thousand years defending that area from the unitary a, a land in which was never even reached um given that you had rolled so high you would also know that these people are the remnants of those that group they remained within the bogs and it seems that when they referenced victory they meant it was more of a trophy Uh, um, spoils Clark, of war. During, Clark, during my percept, during, I'm gonna do a perception check for what I said. But can I also fi- see if I can f- find like a big like hill bluff or something like that, that that's like off the road? Um. Yeah, you can you can do that. Get, make me a perception check with disadvantage. Also, those yep. other ones should have been a disadvantage. I forgot again. Um, a modded eleven. Okay. Um. It's hard to tell. Most of the bog is pretty uh, homogeneous across it. The area okay. that you're the area that you're crossing through doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of nature there, with the exception of those bursting clusters. Are we leaving like? Tra- are we leaving? Are we leaving like a trail behind or no? Yes, you are. Uh, the mud beneath you. There's probably around like an inch or so of mud use, right now. Can I cast? Can I cast pressing dissertation to like hide our tracks? Um, you can certainly try. Um, I'm, tr- I'm going to try and like hide our tracks, like where they just like stop, because they're probably following us via tracks. Um, so you go and you start to do it, and it's it, it's pretty rough. The area that you're trying to press to digitate while you are moving is a, a bit much you're definitely making a little bit of progress like it would be if you were somebody who was tracking this cart it would make it a little more difficult but it certainly isn't stopping like covering it up entirely i'm just gonna do it for a little i'm gonna just keep doing it okay how long would you guys like to continue to travel uh, until we find it we can find a safe spot a, yeah. like a hold, like a possible like place to hold out for a little bit to get away from these guys i mean i say if they come up to us again we could we could tell them that we're bringing it to a holy um site they don't, they don't care to, they want it to, they, no we could we, we could tell them we're bringing it to a holy site to um to destroy it because we hate we hate the unitarian church why uh, would we do that couple things are... unitary <laughs> was not a church um just a oh sorry yeah, just for. They were just like a overlordy people kind of thing. Yeah, we they were an empire. They were bringing it somewhere to be destroyed because we hate the unitary. We don't actually hate yeah. the unitary, but they don't need to know that. That would just aggravate them, wouldn't it? Yeah, because they were like, "Oh, if you're just gonna destroy it, let us have it," kind of thing. Maybe, maybe, but we could come up with a tale of how we we rightfully earned it by slighting the unitary. But the unitary is gone. It's been gone. That's a good point. Hmm. Let's just keep okay, going until well, we find. Let's, let's, let's keep going, going until we find something we can like hold out in potentially. Yep. <laughs> I mean, we could try um, my my little spell, but we can wait. We have to I, wait till nightfall though to do that. I keep forgetting it's fucking daytime. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah, it's like it's, it's like probably like about nine. noon by now. You guys have been traveling for a little bit. I keep hearing everybody's exhausted and think it's nighttime. We're exhausted because we exhausted didn't get any sleep. Shut up, Bones. I'm just rummaging through my bag at this point. Um, okay, so you pull out some. Uh, I'm just gonna kill time until we find something in the hide in. I'm just gonna pull out a fucking piece of paper and just write some shit down okay um i'll have either him guy or bone or um ass make a perception check or one of you just make a straight roll only one of you one of you will be giving the help action but since you're already at disadvantage 
So yeah, one of you make a straight perception roll for me. If I rolled, am I rolling with disadvantage? No, you were just roll rolling straight. straight. I'm rolling straight. It's a 19. 19. Okay. Um, as you travel, you're keeping an eye out for anything in particular. Um, maybe about like four hours into your travel, you moved up a little bit here. Um, you find a pretty nice area that's um a little more hilly, a little more covered. Um, mm -hmm. that would potentially be a good spot for you guys to pull off. Um, at this point, since you, so you had a full day of thing, you traveled through the night and then you've traveled now. Um, yeah, you guys are bordering on a, another level of exhaustion. Okay. Why don't we just find some we need shelter? The, we need the pull off right now behind a hillside or something. And just try to make like a defensive style camp, just in case if they come back. Agreed. And if we do, and Clark, if we do do this, I'm gonna cast presentation on like the ground, just to try and like I'm gonna really try and fucking hide our our trails off the road. Okay. Um. Yeah, I mean it's it's the same sort of thing. Like it's the, there there like really isn't much you can do with prestidigitation because it's not like the purpose of the spell to like yeah. cover up tracks. But it it certainly has done at least something. You've pulled off to the side. Like, but are we like is the cart hidden behind like a hillside or something from the main road or like? Um, a little bit. Like, the, the the hills maybe go up to, like, the top of the wheel. It's also a little hard to tell how high everything is, because at this point where you are, it's about three inches of wet earth underneath you. Jeez. I'm gonna... Three inches of wet earth. Indeed. Um... Is there like a tarp on the cart we can spread out, like a blanket? Um, yeah, there's like a, a general just sort of like, um, burlap, um, tarp, basically, that was sitting within the cart. That. Maybe secure it to trees with rope, so it doesn't sink. Nick, can your character, like, use plants to, like, hide us or something? The plant growth to create kind of a um like a encompassing like you aggressed yeah, type I, I, yes I am aggressed you aggress I, can, I can create like a uh, can of, or like a hedge almost yeah like can tall you make grass like yeah can you hide. make like tall grass like so like it hides the cart a little bit we can I'm just worried these uh these guys can um can feel us through the ground but that's why I'm, that's why I'm gonna sleep that's why I'm sleeping on the cart I don't want to sleep on wet mud. Wrestle dry, Bender. No one to Vassar. They won't know uh, the. Yeah, can... They won't know the carts. Yeah, the carts still. <laughs> Good point. All right. Yeah, I'll do the. Uh, I'll cast my spell. What are you casting? Let's see. I'm passing, casting plant growth. Plant growth. Okay. Nick, I swear, when we picked that spell, I had no idea if we were ever gonna. I was ever gonna see you use it. You're fucking using it. My God. Yeah. I mean, I knew plant growth would be cool for something at least. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, so the plant growth spell goes off, and those bursting clusters start to really come out of the ground here, just sort uh, of entwining their way sort of around, giving a little bit of extra cover onto the actual cart, to where if it wasn't something you were explicitly looking for or something you would just sort of look past, um, it seems that that would pass. Give them this nice, delicious growth. Um, are there, is it anything I can harvest that's useful uh, me medicinally? Medicinally, no. You know that dried roots are made are used as a very good earthy beer. Makes a very good earthy beer. Oh. No. Yes. Okay. Okay. So do you guys want to settle down to your rest? It's about. Maybe four, four o'clock. I've already, I've already passed out in the cart. All right. 
Oh, also, I've collected some of the roots. Okay. I, I guess. I yeah, just add so, just add bursting cluster like five or something into your inventory. Um, I assume that you'll be remaining up bones. If you do, you will be at one level of advantage by the time that your rest or when it's time to swap someone out. Level of disadvantage. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sure. I'll take the first watch. Okay. No, wait. Have uh, have a uh, have the other have Tundo do it. He doesn't seem to get tired. I love have Tundo. Have Tundo go on watch by himself. Oh, oh I should go on watch by myself. Oh, now you suddenly himself. trust me. Oh, it just it's like pressure thing. Okay, give me one second. The shower curtain rod fell in our bathroom. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Be right back. That's quite the excuse. All right, role play time. Why, why the, why the fuck should I take a fucking solo watch when we got these like little guys running around? Because apparently you you're see... the only one who can spot them. Uh, you said it yourself. Yeah, yeah. You, you have the best eyes. So far you said it yourself. That's been seeing it. Well, yeah, not I guess right. you're right. Out. All right, and out. you, and you have passed out. I'm, I'm, I'm I've sorry. been past. I got my night mask on. <laughs> I'm just, oh. I'm just sleeping. So, I'm yeah. scribbling away in my book. You're not sleeping. Anyways, what are you, Tendo, What are you even? What are you doing out here again? Sleeping, actually. Oh, what? I'm, uh, no, I, no. I'm wandering I around. I'm, I, I'm, I, I got places I got to go visit and stuff. Places, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, places. Any uh, particular kinds of places? Ah, uh, you know, just like wherever my uh. Or where my like uh, hot takes me, or whatever, you know, something, something like that. I'm one of those uh, kind of guys. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I get you there. I get you there. Yeah, Nick. What, what are just, the roots? What are the roots called again? Bursting clusters. Clusters. Okay. Yeah. Clusters. Are you back, Bones? Yep. Cool. Uh, okay, so. No, uh, Tundra's gonna do it by himself, so you get a full rest. Okay. I don't so trust Tundo doing it by himself. So, well, I guess it's like, half of his depend on us. And plus, you only need four hours, so yeah, you need that full rest or you're gonna get that exhaustion, so... I feel like it's just... we just gotta leave it to him. Fair enough. But I'll get one level of exhaustion, then I'll sleep, and we'll be fine. Fair enough. If that four hours... if, not, if nothing there. happens in that four hours... Well, if something happens in that four hours, then we're also fucked, because then we'll be at another level of exhaustion, so either way. Precisely. I think... Eh, who knows. Take the watch. I'm okay. going to bed. Take All the right. watch. You're with Tundo. Um, you are now at a level of exhaustion, so just make a roll, a straight roll. Straight for perception. Up, yeah, because Tundo's giving you the help action. Uh, eight. Eight. Okay. Um, looking out, you don't really see anything of note. It seems that the bogs are just sort of calm and eerily silent. Yeah. I don't see nothing. You see anything? Not me. All right. Well, we should tell the others to keep back to back. Watch either side or something. We can't have one... To, to, too many people on one side of the cot. It's true. All right, who him would like? Guys is is the cart is slightly tilting because him guy's weight is lying on the other side of the cart. <laughs> who would like the next rest, or who would like the next watch? The next rest. I'll take the next rest. Um. Um. I'll go whenever. So you go next. On you. Sure. All right. Is it just you, ass? Um, yeah, I believe so. Unless okay. Anybody's, uh, anybody else is here. Okay, it's just you. So make me a roll at disadvantage, please. Perception. Probably gonna be it. Yeah, three. Um, plus what? Uh, five. Five. 
Okay. Similarly, you you uh, <laughs> sitting on top of the cart, you, your head is just sort of constantly on a on a swivel right now. It's trying to keep your eyes open, keep your eyes moving towards everything, and um, yeah, there you, you don't really you don't really see anything. You do notice that a storm has begun to come in. Very observant. Mm-hmm. Um, but outside of that, no, you don't really, don't really, um, see anything else. All right, Ooh, uh, who will uh, take uh, the last watch? Whoever, whoever's on the last watch, uh, may Really? I, may I see say... anyone else? <laughs> uh, do you I really my... need anyone else? Do I got, <laughs> do I, did I get my, I got my full You got, Dude, you great. and him guy got your full rest. Ah, on the last watch uh, before I go. I got my. I can get. I can. I can get live my exhaustion then, right? Yes, one level of exhaustion is gone, so you're back to normal. Or you're not um, back to normal right now. You are back yeah, you to are. straight one exhaustion. I believe exhaustion oh. gets rid at one at a time. No, you said we were at the. You said we weren't at two yet. You no, were at the precipice. Yeah. So by the time you had gone and sort of fall asleep, you ran into two. Oh my okay. god. Yeah, it's. Yeah, so it's reduced by one, yeah. I believe. Amazing. Wow, thanks, thanks, DM. What? You're, hey. Oh my god, you're only at a disadvantage on ability checks. You're Just fine. Kidding. Okay, so... I'm actually, no, no, fuck I'm it, fuck it. I'll, I'll, I'll put this in your hands a little bit. Make me a fucking survival uh -huh. check, then. Survival check? You're goddamn right. I Watch me. Watch this. Fourteen. Fourteen? Was that per chance at disadvantage to an ability check? Oh, yeah, sure, I'll load again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, 17, so that's still 14. Okay, 14, good. You yeah. drop down, you were, you managed to settle yourself in beforehand, so you are devoid of exhaustion. Him guy. Okay, who's I'm on the last one? What, what was that, him guy? I'll just take that one. one okay, you just want to take the one? Take okay, out. so you're still at disadvantage yeah, for ability checks. Okay, um, last okay. watch. Well, I and, have plus two, so... And, uh, three. Bones? I will... Uh, I'm gonna take one more portion of rest, so I'll be refreshed for a while. Okay, you... I don't get, like, bonus rested, do I? Not really. I would say no, that I would no give point. you... I would say I would give you advantage on the survival check to shake off both levels. Or wait, no, you'd I'll only have on, one I'll level, so you'd be fine. Time. Yeah, so I'm fine. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. So we're having three people... Oh, no, we're having two people watch. Oh, well, we it's fine because yeah. I, I'm resting. Okay, so I'll go please answer sleep. who is on the last watch. I'll, I'll since I since uh him guy still has an exhaustion level and I don't, I will watch with bones. Okay, so him guy, you have gone. Eye bags you... and I don't. Hey. <laughs> here, I'll here I'll I'll hand I'll hand him guy my face mask, uh, my I... night mask. You can hear this helps. I would like to speak to Sarah and Bones before I go to bed. What's up, Ash? Mm -hmm. Uh, you see that storm coming in? That looks like a storm cloud. Yeah. Yeah, this place is gonna flood. Yeah, probably. Sorry, what? I mean, look at all that water. Yeah, we're in a fucking wetland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're Apology has taught me anything. <laughs> you might just want to keep that in mind. If it gets too rough, we could take the crabs probably. How rested does uh, Harold look? Um, at this point, Harold has gotten his eight hours of rest, so he nice. looks. He looks. I mean, he, 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 I mean, you can't really tell because he's still like asleep because he's like just enjoying the sleep. But I mean, if Harold, if Harold shit gets, if the storm enjoyed. does get bad, we can take the cart. We can keep going because Harold is a crab. I don't think he would care much about rain. Yeah, shell. He's got a hard shell. True. If anything, we he could can... probably. Um. But that's only, Mostly. I said, like, it's Mostly. only if it starts to get bad. Um, Clark, what time is it? I'm just curious. Um, well, you started your rest at approximately, like, two or four. Yeah, so it, it's about, the sun is about to go down. Okay, I guess we're going to try, well, our sleep schedule is fucked right now. Hmm, pretty much. Uh, let's do this watch bones. We got it. Yeah, in a second. All right. 
So I'm going to need you guys to make me, one of you make me a perception check, um, just regular, because it will be dark, so you'll be at disadvantage there. So the help action will give you regular. I have a, I have 120 of dark vision. Does that help? I mean, you're looking for things that are beyond 120 feet. If you just want to see, is something with 120 feet of me, that's fine. But if you're looking outside of that, <laughs> which I assume you would be. Uh, Bones, what's your uh, perception? Uh, 16. Is it? Oh, well, uh, oh. yeah. Oh, so you, oh, your wisdom is a like a plus what? Oh, it's plus your uh, per, um. I'll let you do that, and I'll give you guidance on this roll as well. The plus advantage. Sounds good. Mm-hmm. Add that D four, baby. One D four, baby. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. My headphones died, and I have to switch out. Dang. What's your roll, Bones? Uh, let me roll it. 20. Modded 20. All right. As night Rolling falls, the gentle storm shifts over the area, making the ground even less stable. The air is hot and humid, a stark contrast to the cold, dry nights you experienced in the deserts. The storm is, fa the main storm is far off though the lightning illuminates the skies around you. Secondary storm, however. In the first flash of lightning, you see you see nothing out in the darkness. But in the next, you notice that you are being encircled by silhouettes, approaching slowly and silently. Oh. Um, for no particular reason, could you please tell me where you would like to orient yourself around the cart? Oh. <laughs> um. uh, I'll take... Point, I guess you'll take what next to Harold. Yeah, where do you want to go? Cart? Like, give me north and south from the cart. I'm on east end of cart. I okay. imagine Bones is on the west. I I would say. Yeah, it seems right. Okay, east end, west end. Um, west end. Him guy, where are you sleeping? <laughs> Tundo, <laughs> everyone's favorite boy is in the cart. So I'm wherever the, oh 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 oh, uh yeah, that's correct. There we mm -hmm. go. Oh, uh, the Tundo is in the cart. Yes. Where would you like I, to be, him guy? Where are you sleeping? Just on the ground. The ground, like at the back of the cart. He was actually slowly Kay. sinking into the mud as it rained. And you ask, where are you? Me, um, holy, I'm just uh. Also, I'm can you see the grids conscious. better? Yeah, I can see the. Oh, yeah, that's much better. Um, I'm kind of just sitting on the cart. Give me next a direction. Tundo, Tundo. Just next to Tundo. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Um, as you do, you begin to see everything that is around you here. Wait, are these humans? These are bogmen. 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 Hail bogmen. No, that nah, the bogmen. There. What the fuck? There. There's, there's so many of them. Oh, the bogmen have shown up. As you start to see them, and I am sure that you go and you attempt to wake them, you start to feel the ground shake a little. Oh, um... As as it does, I'm going to need um one two. I got my third spell slot. I took a long rest. I'm going to need um Asp, him guy, and Sarah to make me a dexterity saving throw. So they're coming up from under the cart, are they? Sixteen, modded sixteen. I got a plus four on that dex. <laughs> I will say, him guy and ass, you should probably do this at disadvantage since you were asleep. Ooh. And like lying on the ground. Oh. Alright, well, let's roll again. Oh, can I get lower than that? <laughs> I can always get lower than that. 
No, if they're still laying on the ground and something's coming towards them, that technically is a disadvantage. I'm just joking. They're not. It's not coming towards them. This is a spell. Oh shit. Yeah. Um. Let's all right. To our uh, to our plant cover. Oh, we moved off of that. You're no, no. You still have your plant cover, but I mean, this is okay. If if you didn't roll over a fifteen. Um. I rolled a. I rolled an eight. Okay. Um, if you got over a 15, that is 10 bludgeoning damage, and if you were under, that is 20 bludgeoning damage. As the oh, ground yeah. itself erupts around you, sending rocks and vines and your cover flailing about. The ground around you is now considered difficult terrain. The, basically, the area just surrounding around the cart. It seems that it was done to try and uh, restrain it. Man, I really should have uh, taken that taken that roll to try to get not exhausted. Well, no, that's only for ability checks. That wasn't an ability check. You had disadvantage because you were sleeping. And at this point, I I'm going to need you all to roll initiative, please. But I mean, I mean, now that I have disadvantage in ability checks and we're at disadvantage uh, because of the terrain, so slayer. Or no, disadvantage, not disadvantage because of the terrain. Difficult terrain means you just move slower through it. Yeah, you move at half speed. You're, it's, yeah. it's half speed. What was half. your bones? Fifteen. 15. 14 for me. Is initiative also disadvantage or no? No. It's not an ability check. Mm -hmm. Mine sucks. Uh, 17. Okay. Um, uh, you were 14, right, Jake? Yes, sir. Uh, Nick? It was 8. 8. Okay. Yeah, it's be bad. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's initiative, though. It's just where you're going. Mm-hmm. All right. Cool. So, first up, we have this guy over here on the west side. Um, this man, okay. as he starts to get closer to you, because believe me, he will. Um, believe me, he will. Is he fast? Is he like the Tim Castro of Bogman? Um... He's going to get as close as he can. He's got, uh, was it f All right, so he's going to run up here, and he's going to uh, reach down at his side, and he's going to throw a um, hand axe at uh, you, Sarah. That is a... That's not loud. Um, What's not loud? That is a 12 to hit. Oh, wait. That is a miss. Wait, sorry. <laughs> not 12, my bad. Um, yes. 15 to hit. Still a miss. Still a miss? Okay. It goes and it slams itself down onto the into the cart. As he gets closer and with the flashes of lightning, you can see that this is a pretty brutal-looking human wearing a cow skull for a, for a helmet. Damn. Damn, hardcore. Jesus Christ. Next, we have... Um... Where's this guy? Uh, similarly, they're going to move in... Um... Here, and they're going to make a spear attack at you, Sage. That is a... Uncanny dodge! That is a 22 to hit. Uncanny dodge! And yes, so it hits, it hits, you're going to, you're still going to take the damage for it, but it will be halved. And that is... Um... So that's five damage, halved down to three. Okay. Um, next is you, him guy. Okay, um, trying to see if there's anybody close to me. I'm going to take a crossbow hit at the guy closest to me. Okay, go ahead and make a roll for me. Blank, blank. Is that one of our spears? 14. That we gave him? Um, <laughs> no, we gave him, uh, we didn't give him a spear, we gave him a... Uh, nah, you gave uh, them spears, you gave a lot of the, you gave them some spears. We? Yeah. We gave them two oh. spears and a dagger. Uh, 14. 
14 hits. Roll me some damage. Okay. Show me some damage, baby. That's an 8. 8 damage. You cock back your crossbow, aim it at him, and fire, hitting directly into the forehead. This person tumbles down to the ground, motionless. Mm-hmm. I would All like to right. get closer to the cart to protect it. Okay, just moving. Uh, next to the cart. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, you're good where you are. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Um, next we have this guy here. They're going to move in. Oh, they can get right up next to here, Bones. Mm. Going sure. to run right in. Go for a spear attack on you. That is a... With my spear? That is a miss. That is an eight to hit. He jabs yeah, down funny. at you with a spear. It is not your spear, though. That's why he missed. Yeah. <laughs> Um, next up we have here, they're going to move in, um, there, and Okay, they're going to go, and they're focusing down in on the cart now. I'm going to need um, all four of you who are around the cart to make a... Um... Oh, wait, nope, it's on self. Never mind. Um, sorry about that. Never mind, they're just going to move in closer. Um, they're just, they're just moving in. Just moving in closer. Next, the archer sitting out here. Um, it is the same archer who had attacked your cart previously. Focusing in, sending a bow, an arrow, bow attack, Christ, at Eddie. That is a 26 to hit. And a... 12, so hit and miss, and uh, hit on Harold. Are you there, ready? Yeah. Oh. Okay, it's cool. Not Harold. So they're going to go make some strikes. Wait, that is. I'm not raging, am I? No, you are not raging, raging, no. So that is five piercing damage to you. And that is five piercing damage to Harold, who takes an arrow down right onto uh, right onto his face. Um, Bones is now your turn. Okay. I am going to uh, the one right next to me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to swing my arm to rage first of all. Okay. And I'm going to swing my sword at him. Go ahead. Okay. That is a 23 to hit. Hits. I'm going to roll damage. Uh, 14. 14. You cleave into this, gutting it, gutting them completely, and they fall to the ground motionless. I'm going to move down at the other one. Which one? The one below me. That guy is red, so he's dead. Oh, uh, the one above me, I mean. Okay, running up here. Mean, Go ahead, make an attack. I did guild him. What? No, Natural Sage. One. Natural one. Mm. You go to swing, and it buries your axe deep, or sorry, your sword deep into the mud. All right. Damn. Next, um, Harold is going to sort of try and wiggle to get out of his um, connection to the cart, but he cannot. Um, 
it is now this guy's turn going to run in again or sorry this one uh get sort of sort of close and they're going to make another spear attack at you tunda or sorry you him guy that is a Ew. 11 to hit i am rolling garbage so oh. it misses spear just sort of slams into the I cart it. itself no i catch it i catch it make a dexterity check god damn it <laughs> uh you are this currently is play. this is how you play can you add anything to it well i can how does a um 10 plus 7 17 work 17. Okay, it's going to miss you anyways. Like, it just wasn't a very good throw, but you go and you just sort of grab it as it hits the cart. Next, Sarah, it is your turn. Damn. All right, the guy that's, like, 10 feet from me? Yes. I'm just going to Guiding Bolt his ass. All right. Level 1 Guiding Bolt. Uh, what's the save? Or is I'd that a save, or is that a... It's a hit. Guiding okay. Bolt's a hit. Roll. That is a modded 23. Hits. All right. 46. That is 15 damage. All right. You go sort of line up quickly and fire it directly at him, hitting him square in the chest, but it doesn't seem to be slowing him down much. Asf, it is now your turn. Um, can I take a bonus action to kind of dash and hide? Or I guess I can only do one dash towards. So you um, can use hide as your action, or you can use dash as your action, and then one of them can be a bonus action. It's up to you. Because I want to dash towards Harold, and I want to start working on um, un un untethering him. Okay, you can do that without having to dash. You're ten feet away from him. All right, so I'd like to use bon hide as a bonus action, like hide between Harold and the card as effectively as possible, and get to work on. Freeing Harold. Okay. Um, so make me a stealth check just for your hide, and then uh, tell me how are you going to try and undo the binds here? Um, I don't know. What's, uh, what's the deal? Um, like, what are the binds look what is it? What do they look like? I mean, it's oh, like a. I got 14 plus 11, 25. Okay. Yeah, you fucking vanish. Um,. I mean, it's, it's similar to what you would see, like, a ox be hooked up to another cart or a carriage. Like, it's a it, it's an attachment. Grab. Yeah, it's it's basically, there are just, like, leather straps around, leather and rope straps around them. I'd like to start undoing the leather straps. Okay, make me a sleight of hand check. Gotcha. Uh, that is a nine. What's the modifier? Okay, easy enough. You go and you've gotten them off. All right, and that is your turn. Do you want to do anything else with your movement? I don't think you will because you're already hidden. Yeah, I'm hidden. I'm good. Okay. Sounds good. Next up, you hear this like guttural screaming coming from the south as, um. Goddamn! What? This moves in. What now? These, um, these two both move in, just absolutely tearing across the ground, and you just hear this, this screaming, this, like, enraged, um, guttural yell as they start to go and tear across the ground. And then this guy also sort of moves in, um... That is, um, ninety feet. Okay. Um, they th this other person from the north runs in, and they reach their hands, plunging them towards the ground, then slowly rising them up. Sarah, gonna need a strength saving throw from you. No, uh, I, stop I, I, trying I, to body Sarah. Oh, uh, dude, I, dude, I got episode. this. I got this. Watch this. Roll the dice. Oh, that's a modded 19. 
19 succeeds as these vines start to try and pour out of the ground, the entangle spell you manage to go and weave out of their way. I learned that from Ass. He's like, you showed me a thing or two. <laughs> about what? You showed me about what the entangle spell does. <laughs> I managed to avoid it. All look right. I did. Hey, look at me. Now, hey, look at me. I did a thing. Moving, moving in now, you hear this. The guttural scream of the two of them is matched by a third one as the uh, man with the uh, bull mask moves in towards you. That is a... Oh, off the mat. That is a 12 to hit. Miss. Jesus Christ, a 13 to hit. Still a mess. Miss. And an 8, or er, 16 to hit. Oh, uh, shield. Okay. Uh, First. Shield. Um. That lasts one round of combat, so I have a plus 5 to my AC, so I have a 21 right now. Yep. Until okay. Next turn. Yep, so yep. this. Uh, th this warrior goes and begins swinging at you. The first two slash the entangling vines around you, and the third one, right before it's about to cut into your neck, that arcane shield snaps around you, blocking the blade. Um, him guy, it is your turn. I'd like to. I'd like to ca <laughs> cast magic missile at the two mother. Oh fuck! No wait, Sarah's right there, isn't she? I'm not a target. You can just say it doesn't target me. No. Okay. Well, yeah. I wanted to target you. And are the two guys that were screaming right next? No, they're not. Okay. No, um, one's in front of you. One's coming towards me. I see. I see. I can't separate these hits. They both go, or they all three of them go to the same person. I would person. just, I would just target yes. the person that's coming towards you. So don't worry okay. about me. You got two people on you though, don't you? Don't worry about it. I got it. Okay. Whatever you say. Uh, yeah. Uh, actually, no. I'll just take the spear, and I'm going to try to, like, throw it back. Throw it at the guy coming towards me, straight for his head. Okay. Make an attack roll for me. Okay. Um, I don't believe you have proficiency with this, so you um, won't get your proficiency bonus. Because I don't think you have proficiency with uh, spears. Jack of all trades. Fuck you. Plus two, anyways. <laughs> um, Is that for <laughs> weapon attacks as well? I think, I think so. I can I'm pretty sure it's ability it. checks it's, only. That's just that's just uh Jack, uh, Jack of all trades just skills. Yeah, ability. sorry. Jack of all trades only Skills. does things for skills. You can add half your position ability check. It doesn't make okay. Fine. Ability check, not an fine. attack roll. Yeah, so fine. do it do it with your strength fine. modifier, but not your proficiency bonus. Is that what is a what is a is a is a is a, is a spear technically a simple weapon? It is. Mm, is it a simple oh, weapon? Yeah, it is. It is a simple Oh, it is. Weapon. Never mind. Then you do have so proficiency. Can, my bad. I have proficiency in it. Fuck you. Um, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'll say fuck you to DM. You crazy? I sit I, here I, and I, I try to follow the fucking rules. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I love you so much. Smooches. All the time. Um, That's going to be a 14. Do I get to attack plus anything? <laughs> what? No, you don't get any other pluses with this. It hits. <laughs> I know. But damage. I know. Go, damage, go, 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 rolling, Jesus. Rolling, 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 rolling. Uh, D8, roll to 7. Do I get a plus 8 on that one, or is it just regular? What? No, just regular. Okay, 8 damage. Okay, 7. 7 no, damage. 7. Okay. Spear goes, slams into its shoulder, but it is not deterred. Shit. It is gonna, now this... Persons. Uh, do you want to move it all, him guy? Nah, I want to stay right here. We good. We good. We chilling. Okay, sounds good. Um, next up is the being that is near Eddie. It is going to put its hands onto its chest and sort of, it, as it moves them out, a burst of energy pops out with it. Make a uh, strength save. Uh, 17. 17 passes. Um, you are going to take... Um, 
Jesus. Um, so it is seven damaged, half because the user succeeded, then halved again. So take two damage, two force damage. Oh, sorry, it was a constitution oh, oh. save. Oh, same, uh, same thing. Yeah, no, I figured it would Actually, be. Actually, no, it would have been 18. Okay, still passed. Oh, sorry, 19. Okay, it still passes. <laughs> Jesus. I have a plus nine to constitution saves. All right. So you take your you take your half damage as the thunder wave goes off, and they just sort of um, get into get into a bit of a defensive stance with their quarter staff, looking at you. Um, next up, we have our archer friend. Mr. Archer. Oh, I forgot about him. Um, all right, they're going to draw their bow and w they're going to make strikes at, um, two at you, Bones. That is a, Jesus Christ, 12 and a 20 to hit. So that's five halved to two piercing damage as two more arrows dash across you. How much damage? Two. You mean one? No, two. It was four damage halved. And I say fuck you and it's halved again. <laughs> what? Okay, regardless. Bones, it is now your turn. I'm gonna hit the guy. Okay, hit him. <laughs> hit him. Do it, or else your name ain't Bones Malone. Uh, 12 damage. All right. Is it, First, not dead? Nope, not dead. First slash goes, cuts deeply into their leg. They let out this guttural roar cry. Punch him in the face. Punch him in the Punch face. In the face. Yeah. All right, make a roll, make an attack roll. Uh, okay. Whoop. One bludgeoning. <laughs> that is a uh, twenty-four to hit. Hits. Um, what's your strength modifier? Uh, plus three. All right, so it does three damage. It's so it's four damage, right? Or D four plus three damage because I have. Um, from being do you have tavern area. brawler? Oh no, I don't. Okay, yeah, so just three damage as you go and just sort of pop them in the nose. Pop. All right, next it is Harold's turn, free from his bonds. He is going... Oh, oh shit. Harold is away. going to run and attack <laughs> at this person. Oh! Harold, and he, be because I can't fucking roll tonight, is not going to hit. Oh! And someone dodges right out of the way. You know what? Fuck it. You're going into dice jail for the night. Oh no. Thin dice fucking jail. ice. Alright, next. <laughs> it is uh this tribal warrior is going to make an attack at um Harold. That is an eleven. That Harold. Uh let me see what Harold's AC Harold's like is. That double. misses. They go to slam at him with the uh, quarter staff, and it just bounces right off of their chitinous shell. Uh, Sarah, it is now your turn. My turn. Sarah. Oh, hello. Hello. Um, that's it. I'm pulling out the big guns now. I'm pulling out the big guns, Clark. I'm casting spiritual guardians. Okay. At fourth level. All right. And it targets myself. And within any creature within 15 feet of me, mm -hmm. will have to make a wisdom saving throw. And on their turns, they're gonna have to make another one. But while they're also hey, next I'm, to me, I'm, within, I'm within it, don't worry. Only, 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 only bad people. Only bad people. Mm, is it? Let's see. Yeah, it's only people I see. Only people I see. Uh, designate any number of creatures you see to be unaffected by it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh. So. Uh. So that's just, next... yeah, just the two of those guys. Yeah, yeah. 
So yeah, they're gonna have to make uh, wisdom, wisdom save. saving wisdom saving throws. Yep. And also while they're in this field, their speed is halved. Okay. While fifteen feet within me. Around. So that is a fail. And that is a success on the um, second guy. Fuck, I think I have something for that. No, that's only for me if I fail. Okay, damage, um, what do you what's going on? Oh, oh, sorry, give me a sec. Uh, it is 4d8 radiant damage. Okay. And on their turns, they have to do another save. Yeah. That is 25 radiant damage. All right. Six, seven, seven, five. And that's halved for the other one? Yes. Mm hmm So, like, these, like, a corporeal, incorporeal, I don't fucking know. What did we say it was looking like, Clark? It's it's basically a, a a ghastly swarm of radiant light sort of pours out around Sarah, which we will use the uh, this condition ring for. And he said, "Hello, bitch." How's the dude in front of me looking? Um, do you have a bonus action? What do you mean? If you want to use your bonus action to do a medicine check, you may. Fuck it. I'm going to do something. Like, I uh, I don't think I need... Wait, do I need a bonus action to use... No, okay, I, I don't need a bonus action to do this thing, but I'm still going to have stuff. I'm still going to do stuff. Um, I'll use my bonus action to medicine check the dude, I guess. Okay, go ahead. I rolled an 11. Okay, you can't really define much from it. You know the damage that he has taken thus far, and that's about it. Oh, fuck, wait. Actually, I, I fucked up what I was going to do. I was going to use sorcery points. I was going to quicken the spell. I was going to quicken the spell. Then use it as a bonus action. Mm. Well, next turn. Ass, it's uh, your turn. Yeah. Do, do you want to move at all? Me? Jake? Oh. Uh, no, I'm going to stay put. Okay. Okay, so I'm still kind of crouching by the cart, semi-hidden, but I don't need to be hidden to get a sneak attack to proc against this uh, target in front of Harold. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to whip out the sling, uh, rev up a magic stone, and send it downrange towards that person's forehead. All right. Show me an attack roll. All right. That is going to be 22. Hits. Um, all right, so 3d6, since it is a um, surprise attack or whatever. Yep. All right, so 5, 13 plus 2, uh, 15 damage. <laughs> all right, you go and you fling this magical stone at this... Uh, person's head who is so distracted by um the massive crab that has charged them and it goes and it goes directly through their eye and they fall to the ground motionless oh i killed them <laughs> oh, oh, I did. it was sealed the stone was key the stone was key to the stone mm -hmm. was sealed Next up, right, we have this berz this berserker who, having seen you exit your um, cover, is going to run to attack you, ass. That is right. a... Um, t -t 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 sorry, one moment. They're going to... Uh, they're, they're attacking recklessly. Oh. Ooh, in a way That's most scary. reckless. Um, but, you know, it doesn't matter. I'll just roll. A, I'll just roll a four and a five. You know why not? So does a nine hit per oh chance? God, no. <laughs> Good. All right. Goes completely fucking whiffs. <laughs> Next, we have this uh, this other berserker who is inside of Sarah's strange sphere is going to pull out nope fails 
Okay, so that's fucking four. Christ, four. dude. Holy four shit. Four D eight. Oh, that's sixteen more radiant damage. All right. Their speed is technically still halved, right? Yeah. Well, they're gonna they're gonna get out of there. They know that they come near me. Actually, hmm. No, they're gonna come in. They're going in hard. So, all right. Let's fucking see. That is a, and they're gonna attack recklessly. Um. Oh nope, that was off the map. Okay, that is a t -t 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 21 to hit. Fuck, that still hits me, even if I shield, so I'm, I'm not... I'm gonna use the spectral protectors on you, so don't worry. Oh, so if I shield and that, I'm oh, fine? don't shield. Just get hurt, and then I'll reduce it by 3d6. Alright, and you oh, are I'm... going... And you take 13 damage, slashing. Uh, reduced by... Uh, 12. So I take one damage. <laughs> so you take one damage, but I'm yeah, gonna need a concentration check. I, Clark, it's one damage. Is it damage? What could it do? Break True. my concentration? No, yeah, concentration. <laughs> DC 10. Uh, I have a, I also have advantage, so... Okay. A natural 20. Could it fucking be? It continued. Natural, natural, natural Next. Natural 20 plus 7. Oh. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, Next up, we have this, um, seeing all of the strange spectral shit that's going on over there, um, once again, they're going to go and push their hands down, down towards the ground and raise up. Um, they're going to aim directly at the cart, but they will still hit basically everyone who's within this circle here. So that'll be him, Guy, and Sarah. Gonna need a dex save. Wait, is it dex or is it... Okay. Um... Is it yep, dex save. Oh. Um, I'm going to... I rolled an 11, but... I rolled a 15. Okay, 15 passes. For this, uh, once per short rest, if I fail a saving throw, uh, I can add 2d4 to my roll. So I'm going to do that. Okay. Uh, made it a 16. Okay, just passes. Yes. Okay. The guys, so the you guys both, look down on you me. both take 7 bludgeoning damage again as the ground just bursts I'm up. Dodge. Okay, so you take 3 damage then. <laughs> Uh, do I still have to, I have to keep concentration? Yes, right? concentration checks. That's the purpose of the concentration check. All right, well, I have advantage, so uh, 23. All right, good. Next up, we have Cow Face Man, who's going to make some strikes at you. Nope, he has to make a wisdom saving throw, Clark. Okay. Fails. He failed? No. Yep. What's your DC? Right, four, it's a 17. 17, yep, fails. All right, 48 radiant okay. damage. Okay. Uh, that's 21 radiant damage. Okay. He goes and he feels the... <laughs> feels the burst sort of around him. Um, having that hit, he is going to go into a bit of a frenzy. And he's going to make some attacks at you. Okay, that I'm is a... <laughs> Why am I facing the two hardest people? That is an 18 to hit. You said you uh, could handle it! Uh, shield. I'm casting shield. Okay, first one shielded. That is a... Um, shield. 17 to hit. Miss. Wait, is it shield the entire round, or is it for yeah, a single it's attack? It's, it's one round of so combat. It's only until your next turn. Yeah, it's one round of combat. Have you had a turn since you used shield? Yeah, I used it once, and I didn't use it till right now. Yeah, until so the start exactly. of your next turn, yeah. Okay, so block, block. Works. Third one also fucking blocks. Okay. <laughs> gotta love sorcerers, man. You gotta love sorcerers. Man, I love, I love these. Sorcerers. I love my rolls tonight. I'm having I'm having a hell of a time. Him <laughs> guy, your turn. Okay. Uh, I'd like to. Can so the two guys that are facing Sarah, they're paying attention to her, right? Yeah. 
Okay, I'm just gonna like move about two, uh, whatever these fucking things are, Cubits. to the right. Cubits to the right. And mm-hmm. I'm gonna try to Deadpool the shit and cock a, <laughs> a crossbow through both of them if I can. I'm at I'm at point blank. I'm pretty damn close. So point shooting at point bad. blank gives you disadvantage because it's a ranged weapon. Disadvantage. Okay, fuck. Then I won't use that. I will use my battle base and I'll just go for the one that's closest to me. Okay, make an attack roll cow for man. me. Hit cow man. Hit cow man. Ooh, that is a 19, sir. Yes. And then, uh, eight plus eight. Okay, that's not great. You also um, get sneak attack damage because you have advantage from flanking. How how much? What does it say on your plus sheet? My, I, I, I don't know. I think sneak attack at her lo- uh, there. Him, sneak guys. Sneak, him, guys. Sneak attack. Looks like no, not your stealth. Six. It is... It's, 3d6 or 3d6? Sneak attack. It is 3d6 damage. So, whatever you rolled, add 3d6. Uh, 8 plus 6. You cut out, Sage. I'm doing math in my head. Alright. Uh, 13 plus 2, 15 plus 8. 15 plus 8. 20. 1. 22, 21, 22, 22, 22, 22. It's 20, it's 23, okay. Um, all right, as you sneak up behind them, just completely taking him by surprise, laying your axe deep down into his right shoulder, falls to the ground, motionless. Oh, I was going for a head chop, but you know. Fine, Four. as it goes and swings and hey. hits the head and hey, it's dead. Bye-bye. All right. Uh, all um, right. Sir, how much damage do you have right now? Sarah. What? Oh, it's my turn? Shit. It is not your turn. No, no, no it is. Turn. Sage is finishing their turn. She has. I'm lost. What's happening? I literally, I like. I'm trying people... to decide whether or not I want to use a, a a bonus action, but I can't. Hold on. There's, oh. there's one action that I get to use a bonus action. I won't. Go for it. Just continue. Part. Sorry. Okay. You good? Done. Turn. Done with your turn. Yes. Okay. Done. 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 Cool. Um, the person in front of you, Eddie, is um once more going to try. Eddie, my- Feudally likely to do the thing again. Make me a const a constitution check. Uh, sixteen. Um. Yep. That you take. Um. Uh, nine damage, halved, halved, so two damage. Really barely notice. Yeah. As they go and attempt another thunder wave, again, nothing. They just stand there. They're not entirely sure what to do. Um, next, Archer, they're going to go and make a strike at um, Bones and also him guy. That is a 12 for you, Bones. I'm like naughty. I'm just kind of hanging yeah. out. Yeah, and a 21 for you, Ass. Jesus Christ. Ass. Damage? No, to oh. hit. <laughs> to hit? Oh, yeah, it hits. Okay. Yeah. You take... Oh. Um, Uh, seven piercing damage as a arrow from your side just goes and lands itself into your calf. That's not that bad. <laughs> um, you go, ouch. 
Bones, it's you. Okay, I'm going to punch him again. All right. I'm just trying to knock him unconscious. I feel kind of bad for him. Okay. Jesus Christ. That's a... 17 to hit. Hits. Uh, three damage. Three damage. Mm-hmm. How close is he? Uh, give me a quick medicine check. Fifteen. Fifteen. They're basically on death's door. One more decent punch will probably knock will knock them out. Okay. That punch him again. That is a uh, nineteen. Hit. Nineteen. You go and the second your fist reaches them, they just buckle. I'm gonna say uh, your companions of this day. Hey. Oh. It is now Harold's turn. Not exactly seeing anything else to do, Harold is going to go and just sort of turn around. <laughs> uh, Sarah, it is your turn. He doesn't eat the target. Wait, he doesn't get an action and a uh, reaction? What? Whose turn is it? It's your it turn. Harold? It's Sarah's turn. It's my turn. But Harold, Harold, like doesn't see anybody to go and attack right now. He's he's a crab. Um, he's a crab. He's a crab. <laughs> uh, spirit guardian only works on other people's turns except for the start of the actual casting. So yeah, it's just chilling. So, um, that was yeah, my turn. Yeah, that was my turn yeah. Yeah. How how is your not, turn next? I yeah. Stab him. I'm not stabbing him. I'm just that going to, face. I'm, uh, I'm just gonna, Eldritch Blast. The dude okay, in front at of disadvantage. Me. Yep. Uh, fifteen. Um, hits. Oh, oh shit! First one, uh, ten. Ten damage on the first blast. Okay. Second blast. Uh, 24. Hits. Alright, damage. 14 damage. Okay. Yep, so you go just nice up and close, just pop, pop. Hit them with some of that force damage. Ass, it is your turn. Wait, I won't do anything. Right, do, um, do you want to do anything else on your turn? Yes, I'm going to bonus action. I'm going to use two sorcery points, and I'm going to guiding bolt him. Okay, go ahead. Uh, give me a second, let me lose... Two sorcery points, and and yeah, it's just gonna be a first level guiding bolt. Where the fuck is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, does a nineteen hit? Yep. All right, forty six. I rolled all ones. That's four damage. All right. Welcome wow. to my welcome to my world. Um. Yep, it goes, it seems that they were sort of expecting it, sort of dodge, feigned out of the way. Ass, it is now your turn. So, um, each square is ten, right? Ten feet? Mm-hmm. Or five feet. Five feet. Five yeah. feet. Okay, great, I can do this. Okay, so in a point of space between those two enemies, I'm going to cast Wither and Bloom. Between what two enemies? Um, the one below me and the one next to Sarah. Is that big enough range? Yeah, um, I think you should be able to hit. Okay. Hmm. With an uh, radius. Yeah, it's yeah that 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 should hit. Yeah, the ten foot radius should be good. From from a point of his choice, it will actually. Yeah, from hit. point of my choice. Okay. So if he like so chooses it like right below like the end of the cart, it will hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. I, oh wait, uh, can I spend movement first? Walk yes, of over course. That spot and then cast it. Okay, so I'd like to walk over that spot. Like Where right is it that you want to go? Uh, right below the cart, right below the bottom corner of the cart. Okay. Are you going to be out of rain melee range of this guy? Uh, yeah. Okay, so he will get an opportun opportunity attack on you. He'll make that now. Oh, good. That's actually okay. That's a twenty-four to hit. Oh, yeah. Um, that is 
Um, that is 12 slashing damage. Oh, I'm three right, okay. right as you run away, just sort of goes and slash it once quickly across your back. Yeah, ouch. Okay, I didn't realize th he had reactions. Um, okay, but I'm casting Wither and Bloom. All right. So 10-foot radius. Uh, each enemy, these two enemies have to make a, a constitution saving throw. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, that's going to be a... Uh, 22 for one of them, the one that struck you, and the other one is a 14. Wait, so how do, what do I look at? What's your spell save, DC? Oh, it's not that great. Um, so I should know that. So spell save DC is 14. <laughs> no. 14. Well, okay, so they both succeed. Okay, so they take half. So they two, they, both of them take 1d6... Or 2d6 halved. Oh, 2d6 halved. Yes, yeah, 2d6 halved. Necrotic damage. Eight, Slightly six. better on average than 1d6. So Indeed. 4 and 3 damage. <laughs> okay, Not so much. 7 divided by 2, <laughs> so 4 damage each. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Um, and, and you pick I one heal. No, I can you, pick well, myself, you, right? you, you can pick yourself, yes. Uh, you certainly it's can. Not, it's, not, it's not healing. You use your hit points. Use a hit die. Short rest. You use your hit die so you can only, you roll two hit die. Oh, well, what does that do? So you heal, roll you your d8 and you heal. Oh, dude. All you right, roll so... two d8 and then heal it. And then you say that you used those hit die. Okay, equal to the rolls plus your mod spell casting modifier. Okay. So, I can do that. All right. Fifteen and what's my spell spell casting ability? Wait, what did it say? Sorry. Uh, equal to the real plus your spell casting ability modifier. So yeah, which is wisdom. So what is your wisdom modifier? I just presume plus three. I don't know why I don't have it written down here. What's your wisdom? Ask plus two, wisdom plus two. Plus two. Plus two. Plus two, plus two. Yeah. Okay. Here, cool. So do that. Things. Is there anything else you want to do on your turn? Um, I don't. Can I? Can I hide as a bonus action? Like jump over the cart? Yes, you can. Make me right, a quick stealth good. check. Oh uh, yeah. I mean, this is this is like usually free. Uh, let's see. You gotta roll. That is a eight plus eleven. 19. Okay, yep, you just go and you just sort of like scuttle underneath the cart and you disappear. Um, next we have here, seeing you go and, hmm, was Nick originally in your circle, Jake? Uh, Nick's not affected. Oh. Am it's I? People with, it's people within eyesight of me, people I can see visibly. Okay, I'll say that you sort of said that during the cast. That's fine. Um, seeing you disappear into this weird white circle, this other guy who you were with, Nick, is going to run up, go and take a, some attacks at Bones. That is a... Um, Can I say Tundo is affected? Because I didn't care Would about Tundo it. get an opportunity attack? Um, if Tundo wished, does yes. Tundo wish? No. Tundo, I'll say Tundo does wish. Um, you go for a bonk? He goes for a bonk with his little short billy club. He just sort of, like, leans out of the car as he runs by. He just goes, yeah! <laughs> he just completely whiffs. Oh, at least he um, tried. Yeah, so that's an, um... That's a 16 to hit you, Bones. Misses, all right. Just goes, swings at you. Just parry Bounces directly with your. Armor. Yep. All right. Well, Other guy I now. Back on my back, so it probably bounces off that. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Um. All right. That's a. What is it, Jake? Is it a wisdom save? 
It is a wisdom save, Clark. That's a 12. That's another fail. Oh, Blow your four, damage. 4d8 four D, four D radiant damage. Woo, 14 radiant damage. All right. This thing's still not dead after taking, like, 50 damage. Yeah, it's going to go. It's quite unhappy. It's going to take some more... Take another strike at you. That is a... Three. For fuck's sake, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. Does an 11 hit? You'll never <laughs> believe it. It doesn't. Dude, this is awesome. All right. Um, this druid up north here is just going to take a couple, take a dart out of its pocket and just go and try and throw it over at Bones because it sees a knocked out or actually no it's close enough to run over it's going to go make a quarter staff attack um oh natural 20 good this is the really important <laughs> thing <laughs> on the dart really important thing to do on with that, that. On that 1d4 dart or it's not a dart they're going with a quarter staff so it's fucking 1d4. 1d8 oh geez ooh wee Man, look at that. You take four damage, <laughs> halved to, to two, as you go, and this fucking, like, twig-thin druid runs at you with a scraggly stick Currently and whacks you with it. have 112 hit points remaining. Yeah. All right, him guy, it is your turn. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna swing at the guy next to Sarah with my... Bo -bo 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 battle axe. All right, go ahead. Your attack has advantage. Pack or no, because they attacked recklessly and then still ruled a fucking nine. So Ugh. I have advantage? You have advantage on your strike, yes. Oh, which means you have okay, sneak attack. So you have sneak attack. Does it mean I have sneak attack? Indeed it does. Okay. Anytime you have advantage, you add okay, the extra cool. 3d6. 17 to hit. Hits. Okay, uh... Okay. Uh... 24 plus 8, 30... Uh... 2. Alright. Right. Um... Oh, Jesus Christ! As you go and you see this guy is pretty, looks like he's pretty low. Um, you know that this next strike is going to be the one to fell them. It is in your hands. Go ahead. Describe to me how you want to do it. <laughs> Sage, you there? Hello? Yeah. Describe to me how you oh, want to okay. go about this. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk up to this man with such swagger. I'm gonna tap him on his shoulder and go, hey, and I'm gonna chop his head off, straight through, straight through. All right. His head is flying into the air, and I'm looking up at it, and I go. In a quick burst, this um. The your axe goes directly through this through the neck, splashing blood all over Sarah. Sarah, sorry, Sarah. As this as this uh, berserker falls down to the ground, just bloodied and beaten and burned with radiant damage. Who's this him guy? I'm sorry. I just got a. You just. I just. You were looking like you had some trouble. I'm quite okay. It is now yeah. <laughs> it is now the ranger's turn, and seeing how the battle is currently progressing, reaches up towards their neck and pulls out a very small red bead. They crush it within Whoa. their fingers and point it out Whoa. towards the cart. Whoa! A thi Whoa. What? Uh, okay, um, a thin bead of red arcane energy fizzles over towards the cart. The ranger at this point has just turned and fled before it has even made its way to you. I'm going to need... Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. 
Can I'm I try to push? I'm gonna the use my reaction in front and, of me uh, into the beam of light. Can I? Can I? <laughs> yeah. Can I counterspell yeah. that? You can try. I'm gonna do a fourth level. I'm gonna do a fourth level counterspell. All right. Eddie's also um, pushing the guy into the middle of the beam. Uh, the moving of the beam is a flavoring thing. I don't think I have light speed reaction to. You also, yeah. <laughs> um. Where, where are you casting it at? Fourth level. All right. You go, and it just fizzles out into nothing. Yes. All right. Bones, it is your turn. I'm going to look, turn around, and look at both the bogmen who are attacking me. going to say, are you going to make me do this? Uh, roll me an intimidation. Okay. 15 plus 6. 21. All right. Yeah, as you say that, they immediately start to sort of, like, back away from you slowly. I'm going to hand over the unconscious one and lift him up by, like, the scruff of the neck. Mm-hmm. Say, so this one is still breathing. Tell your people of this day. Tell them to fear the low-cost crusaders. <laughs> the low-cost crusaders. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Sarah, it is now your turn. Wait, are they still there? Yeah, they're still there. Their turn hasn't come yet. I kind of, I just, I can just walk towards them. Menacingly. And, uh, yeah, and my with your thing up. Talk, yeah, yeah, with my thing up. All right. Have them, they need wisdom saving throws. Yeah. Oh wait, uh, Eddie, do you want me to do this or? I want you to kill them. Or do you want them to just run? You I have... want them to run. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna drop the field. I'll drop the field. Okay. Just like crackle some magic frighteningly. Use thaumaturgy or something. Well, yeah, I could use. I don't have thaumaturgy. Jeff. Well, I have thaumaturgy. Okay, yeah. We'll use... Yeah, I'm sorry, Jake. Your character is actually being killed off by a large meteor because you don't have thaumaturgy. That's a that's a necessary thaumaturgy. spell. Thaumaturgy? No, I use pressed dissertation. That's way better. Boo. Thaumaturgy is the cooler one. <laughs> yeah, I like thaumaturgy. <laughs> I have thaumaturgy. Hell yeah, Nick. Plus, plus five points for you. All right, what do you want to do, Sarah? I'm going to stand there and look intimidating. All I'm right. Covered in blood. Yeah, I think covered, in, covered oh, in blood with everything that has happened. They seem pretty worried. Asf, is there anything you would like to do? No, not really. Everybody's dead, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, that's... Damn. Oh, man. All right, can you roll for attack, then? Yeah, it's a sneeze. Me? Yeah. For your sneeze oh, wait, attack. Got... That's sneezing wind, I think. Wait, is one of the enemies still alive? They're still alive. They're not doing anything right now. Oh. Well, should I try to kill them? Are we still that is them? entirely up to you. Are we... This is a game full of choices. Um, let's see. I I don't know. Wait, wait, what? Is this person? They're not doing anything. All right, I'm just gonna stand here. <laughs> okay. It is now both of their turns, and seeing everything that's going on, the druid grabs its companion, and they both sort of lay back into the mud. It surrounds them, leaving slight mounds, and a, but a few seconds later, they have dissipated into it. Okay. Disappearing into the swamp. Congratulations, combat has now ceased. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. I think they won't fuck with us. Wait, uh, don't take away the orange one. We need him hmm? alive. Don't take the orange one away. Bones him gave them away. Oh, we, oh, you gave him the unconscious one? Yeah, I think okay. it was the right thing to do. Yeah. My uh, alignment is true neutral. Wait, what is my alignment? That's a good... I don't take prisoners. At this point, now that everything has died down, 
Tundo peeks his head out and he said, You see? You see we hit him? Yeah, you no. did great. No, I didn't. Oh. Oh, you didn't? Bones, bones, tell him. Tell him how I how I hit him. Oh, you you tripped him up like like that. And he missed me completely. He really had him mixed up. Yeah. Tundo. Tundo seems very happy with himself. King. <laughs> uh, for the Tundo, the, the Tundo was like zero and one and thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Clark, that big the big one with the cow mask. Mm hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna check out what you got on him. Okay, make an investigation check for me. Uh, 16. Okay. Looking through, he seems just to have a bunch of, like, random sort of, like, plants and little keepsakes on him. Nothing uh, really of worth much value. I'll pass um, the plants off to, uh, Ass, and, like, you, you probably want these. Um... Outside of outside of his axe, which is just a very well made battle axe, and the cow mask, I'm taking um, the cow mask. I'm gonna right. adjourn it on the side of the cart as like a warning. All right. To make it look, don't fuck with this cart. <laughs> it's got a cow mask. Mm -hmm. Looking looking down on his face, you see that this um, warrior who you fought um, was quite old. He was probably in his, like, mid to late 70s. Jesus Christ. Yeah, he's a very old human. No. So you go and you place the cracked cow mask. Cracked, of course, because of him guy's head strike. Play. Play for head spikes. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm two for two. So, uh, so what should we do? Should we finish resting and go back in the morning? And continue in the morning, or... So I don't get away from this bloodbath. I don't. We can just move the bodies, but I, mean, I don't think bad I, don't, juju. I don't think they're gonna come back. I don't know, man. They can come out of the fucking ground. We killed. We killed like five of them. They brought yeah, eight. That's true. They're not, they're gonna, they're gonna realize that we can fuck them up pretty hard. I don't know. It could be a hornet's nest situation. They technically kicked the hornet's nest by fucking with us. We just don't know how many of them there are. I mean, I will rest, but I feel like we should get out of here. <laughs> well, we gotta attach the crab back on because you let him go. Hey, Howard was taking damage. At this point, Harold is beginning to, shall we say, pick at his meal. Oh. Oh. Is he eating? He's, he's eating someone. I don't think we should. I don't think you should be eating human. I think I don't that's know. not it. Around us, there might be a steady supply of fresh human. That will look really <laughs> weird if someone finds out what we're feeding him. <laughs> I mean, it's not. What like are you feeding? Oh, what do you feed that crab? Human. <laughs> uh, I'm not trying to I mean, feed him. Well, we'll see. You know what crabs eat? What do crabs eat? Crab food. I feel like they just eat like. Scum and crud. Bait shit. Well, Harold likes Bahir meat. That's all you really know about him. Yeah, so, uh... I'm pretty beat up, so... What time? Clark, I'm gonna look. What time is it? Um, it's just around, like, 8.30 p.m. 8.30 p.m. It's still pretty late. I can... I'm just gonna go back to my bedroll and just... pass out. I'm beat up. I'm hurt. I'm All aching right. a little. To Even from just that... like, five minutes of combat we went through. I'm pretty worn out. Used a lot of level 1 spell slots for shields. <laughs> Oh, All right. Oh, yeah, you guys want to take a crabs. take a rest, finish finish out your rest. Yeah. All right. Um, you do so without really any issue. Um, it seems that any sort of interaction 
from this group will certainly not be happening anytime soon. Um, when you awake in the morning, you find that the bodies that you had left around you have been slowly sinking into the mud, more than you would reasonably expect to happen naturally. So would you say we had a long grass cloak? Yes, you did. Okay. Oh, woohoo, I'm back at full health. Yeah, woohoo. I rolled my spell slots. I feel so jolly. Um... Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's get to the fucking garden district as soon as possible. Yes. <laughs> Let's get there very often. Let's get there as quickly as possible so we can ditch this fucker. Tundo, Tundo looks over at you, Bones, just says, it's not a very nice thing to say about Harold. What did I say about Harold? No, I said they said they were, they, they were going to ditch him. They said they were going to ditch him when you guys get to the garden district. Well, you gotta okay. swap him out. Oh. You gotta swap hey, him hey, out for hey, a hey, fucking hey, ox. Hey, 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 hey. Don't put words in my no mouth. No one's I ditching Harold. Definitely We're not ditching. That. I don't know who said that. Well, then who are you ditching? I didn't say that. I say ditching you. Me? I said ditching. I I I said ditching. Yeah. I'm not. We're not ditching Harold. Put me into this. Oh. Yeah. Why you? Tundo looks over and looks over at you, Bones. Just like, fuck, dude. I think they're gonna ditch you. It's oh. like, hold on well, to something, know. you know. I don't know, man. Fighting pit or something in Illum will be alright. Ah. I, I, I have a strong feeling I want to tie Tundra to a rope and drag him by the end of the cart. I'm okay. not going to lie. You feel... have not earned the right to do that. <laughs> yet. We have not had the you idea have not yet. have the social capital necessary to expend <laughs> on torturing Someone who seems to be an ally, a weird one. <laughs> What's his crime? He was kind of sussy. <laughs> Just wait. <laughs> uh. All right. I'm the skull collector now. I collect many skulls. So you enjoy your rest. You wake up in the morning. And for the next two days, you really travel without any issue. Um... The ground starts to solidify. The weather stops becoming more and more, stops becoming humid, and it gets to a point where it's really like a, a good, comfortable temperature. Um, the skies around you have opened up. There's just sort of like scattered clouds here and there, and a light breeze coming across from the ocean. Um, the night after your second day of travel, you are hit with the S strong smell of sea salt as you reach the Continental Bridge. Um, the bridge itself is about 100 feet across, spanning a gap of about a quarter mile. There are guards stationed at the entrance of it wearing light armor with uh, noticeable gold trappings on the outside. Uh, they approach your cart as you reach them. Uh, hello. Uh, good evening, travelers. Uh, where is it that you are headed? We're heading to Ilum. Oh, Ilum. Lovely town. Um, for what purpose, might I ask? Uh, we were we're being hired by a guild to transport a certain package to the city. Oh, package. Uh, might we see it? It's very confidential. <laughs> we can show it to them. We just don't yeah, show I know, what's I'm inside. Just, yeah, yeah, well, we came and we don't even know what's inside. Yeah, sure, we can show it to them. All right. They walk over to the cart and they sort of stand on the wheels to go and peer in and they just see the the the, the second they go and they see that sigil, they get really quiet and they start exchanging glances. Um who is this that you're delivering this to? Uh we were told to find people with this symbol and I pull out that symbol that uh Morris gave us. The moment they see it, they immediately straighten up and just say, um, on your way. This is some uh, House of Black and White shit. Uh, excuse me, could you on your tell way. me... On your way. Can, can you, Heading can north. Can you tell me who these are? Can you tell me who these are? Who this is for? Where exactly? We weren't exactly told. We were just told to find them, but who are they so we have a better idea to find them quicker? Um, just show that at the gate and they shall uh, bring you to where you need to go. On, on your way. Can I try persuasion? 
or okay, anything like go that. ahead. To try to get something out of them. I, I need a name. Okay. Uh, 19. Modded 19. 19? 10 plus um, 9. They're, they're very much holding their tongues, but one of them um, begins to speak. Oh, yes, that would be the council. Yeah, mm, no, um, uh, apologies for my partner. Just uh, show that to them at the gate, and I am sure that um, everything shall be fine. Understood. Yes, on your way. Follow the roads. Follow the road signs. It should be due how, north. How how safe are the roads to Ilum these days? He goes and he looks at your cart, seeing it Ooh. covered in arrows and spear marks and a big <laughs> cow head. And he says, uh, "Likely safer than where you have traveled." Oh yeah, we faced like some weird mud people. <laughs> it was really weird. I haven't yes. been to the garden. I haven't been to the garden district in about how long has it been, Clark? You think I've been out of the garden district? Probably like eight months at this point. Eight months? Yeah, about eight months. Oh, I'm originally from. I'm originally from around here. Uh, lovely. Yes. Well, um, on you go. On you go. Okay. Bye. Mm. As you trail off into the distance, um, what's everybody's passive perception? 16. 11. Let's see. <laughs> um, perception? Yeah. Or I actually you? rolled, uh, surprise, surprise, didn't roll super well for the stealth roll. Um, surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. Look, dude, next <laughs> session you guys are fucking done. All of my luck is going to come I, back. I have a feeling. It's going to be crazy. Hey, uh -huh. But as you, as you go, you hear the two, one guard say to the other one, Erase this event. We saw nothing. Where's Tundo? He's sitting in the cart. He's silent. He's, he's staring at the crate again. He's chilling. There I'm going to look around. I'm just going to be a little more careful as we go the rest of the way. Okay. What does the land like bridge look like? Is it like... Um, it is a cobblestone like... bridge. It's pretty... It, it's pretty low pretty close to the water the it goes over a straight um which separates the two continents Boat, can boats go under um yes at certain points it can but it's it's pretty flat i mean it's a quarter mile span so like it's not there isn't like a very steep incline is it a large bridge like it's a hundred. Like it's it's a hundred feet wide by a quarter mile across. The water is also a bit below where the actual land is. Like it's not a beach. It's a bit of a cliff. Gotcha. Down to the water. Um, anyone else on the bridge other than guards and us? Um, no. It's just a torch lit bridge in the middle of the night. Oh, torch lit. Okay, nighttime. Gotcha. Yeah, it's nighttime. Cross that bridge. Time is up and time yeah. is not. Is there anything Let's else see. you guys would like to um, accomplish before we call it? I'm going to do a nature check. Hello. For. I want to see if it looks like there's been any kind of like shortages or hardship in this area. I don't know if we're, like, around where there would be farms or anything like that. Hey, what's your nature modifier? Oh, I don't Minus actually one. have a um, Minus one. <laughs> I would... You, you can make Minus make one. a roll. Make make a roll. I can give you some... Inf you can probably divine some information from that. Uh, seven minus one. Okay, so six. <laughs> um, It's certainly more fertile from where you went, where you came from. Okay. Yeah, baby. Um, I wanted to see if it was broad thing affecting the continent or not Clark, probably within that time of like two days and probably now i probably did some form of meditation since it's been easier travel mm -hmm. so if i saw anything I, I don't know okay um mm. i would i i would say um I'll get back to you on that. I'll send you something. 
get like a page i get like a pager i'm like Shh. you'll get you'll get like three sentences probably but we'll do that is there anything for yeah is there anything for anybody else i guess that's it no yeah i'm good ask uh no i'm good all right i mean Excellent. i could i could ask you about the ecological health but i'm just oh uh, go you can go ahead yeah why not all right I, i'll run I would also like to inquire about the ecological health of the area. That is nine, 19 plus 4, so it's 23. 23. All right. Um, it's called the Garden District for a reason. The cool. the land yeah the lands the lands here are cool. extremely fertile. This the the farms within, um, and you would know this given your background as well. The farms within the Garden District. Um, supply food in a lot of cases to some more of the uh, desperate towns spread out throughout Exonda. Oh, so it's the breadbasket of the uh, of the world. Indeed. There is a reason why that a majority of the wealth in this world lies within this district. All right. Hey, look at all this sick, sick shit growing. Isn't that great? Nice. Feels like home. Huh. Hey, I love it. All right. That's all I have to say. And with that, we will call it for the night. Thank you very much for playing. My roles will be back to back come next week, and we will Hopefully be able to not. have a legitimate session. Thank you. What do you mean? That was 100% legitimate. That was some bullshit, dude. That was some real bullshit.